Welcome to Secular Soup. Stay tuned for real talk about atheism, feminism, politics, parenting, and whatever the fuck else Amy and Amy want to talk about, because this is their show. And get ready for a whole lot of motherfucking profanity. You want to hear a secret? Uh, I couldn't. I won't tell anybody. Go ahead. If I sit next to you, I'm going to get gonorrhea. It's going to jump into me. Just two ladies hanging out. Is it okay for me to make fun of his neck waddle if I make fun of my own neck waddle? Yeah, I'm not sure. That's a real ethical conundrum. Would you know if you were born a lizard person or can you be like adopted into the... I think you know. We're such professionals. We really are. Buckle up, bitches. It's time to have some soup. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. It is Amy with a Y. And last night, which would have been a Saturday, I don't know when you're listening to this, but for me it was last night, Amy and I did a Zoom hangout with a bunch of our friends from the Secret Soup Talk group, which if you're not in that yet, you should head over to Facebook and join the Secret Soup Talk group. Um, I, there might be a link in the show notes. I'm not entirely sure. At any rate, we weren't going to record it at first, it was just going to be a hangout, but then Editor Rich thought it might be a good idea to record it since we have the feature available on Zoom. So we did that, and now we are releasing it to you to listen to so you can see how much fun we had. Um, It was actually an even better time than we thought it was going to be. It It ended up being super fun. It was a great way for everyone to connect and get some socializing during this quarantine. Um, so yeah, enjoy listening and we're going to do it again. We will keep people posted on when we're going to do these, but it's, it was really a lot of fun. So please enjoy this extra bonus content. Yay. Okay. Um, Alice wanted me. us to give Rich a number live. Oh, way to I put us on was... the spot. He's yeah, looking I mean, it's right been in us. chat for like oh. five minutes. <sighs> Oh. I mean, I'm going to say... You have to say it to his face, though. You have to say it right to here. his, his face. <laughs> yeah, it makes it harder. Right, do and it. He's, in, he's in healthcare. Or easier. Essential. That makes it easier for me. It's true. Right. I'm going to go yes. with... I have it, I'm going to go with a nice round 16. Wow. I wow. don't know why, but... I was going to say 14 because I'm nicer. So 15, split the difference. There. <laughs> Your 15th favorite. I mean, that's legal in some states. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so gross. Who has, is Chanel still there? We can't see you, but see I you. can see the, can, are you, are you there? He has no video on. And but. I don't think Natalie's introduced herself. Oh yeah. Hey, Natalie. She introduced <laughs> hey. her pugs, but that was it. I'm so. here. <laughs> I live in Maryland also, just like Alice. Where? Um, just outside of Baltimore City. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm in Columbia. Yeah, I know exactly where that's at. And would you would you like to see my Jason? Well, you sure. Did, you turned it. did I turn it? There's my Jason. Hi. He can't hi. even hear you because hi, I have headphones in, but, <laughs> but don't say them. hi. This is yeah. top secret. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie Super wrote secret. our yeah. theme song for I Date Me and it's yeah. amazing Ooh. it's a good one yes I love it oh thanks <laughs> it's really it's really I love it it's like a we need more episodes weird. so people actually listen to it <laughs> I know right <laughs> it turns out we decide to record like five different podcasts and then there's no time to record them all and we're like what True. Oh, well, now you have tons of time really? yeah that was you, Natalie, oh, wait, on the no, you uh, intro to the new podcast, I Date that's Me. That was me. You. Oh, great. You have a great That was voice. Natalie. Mm-hmm. That was, that's awesome to meet you. I like to meet the people I edit. So, uh, oh, I well, thanks. Put everything together, and you just sounded great. So uh, I've stolen that little hook. Uh, <laughs> uh, I Date Me, motherfucker. That's the best. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> We told her we wanted it to be like bad eighties porn. Yep. So that was the, and that I was tried so that. Good. I think you tried that. that, but then it turned into like weird eighties techno kind of eighties bossa nova. I I don't even know. It's still good. Um, I think that's 
Did we get every? So yeah, we can just use the hand thing, and then if, can everybody see the hand up thing? No. Nope. No. Yeah, I don't have it on mine. Only you. God damn it. Maybe it's not I don't not see it either. So I'm know. supposed to moderate? Are you? Matthew, we can make too much power for you. Look, oh, there it is. Talk at once. I have an idea. There we go. Let's go. Okay, we're all on camera, right? So here's what we can do. <laughs> yes. You can literally raise your hand. Oh, yeah. There you go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's the old school way to do it. <laughs> I don't know. We can talk about our favorite podcast episodes if you want. I don't know. We all know this, what your favorite podcast is. He's just going to keep is. his hand up the whole time because he's obnoxious. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I get it. Hey. Why does it keep moving people around? I get I everybody I where I know where they are, and then it moves them again. Is there a setting? I don't know. I don't I think, think someone I joins. We had 15, now we have 16. So. Yeah, people have been coming in and out. Oh, okay. Maybe that's what's happening. Uh, yeah, I got a phone call and then like the audio wouldn't work, so I had to leave and then I had to come back. And that's yeah. when I had to. This is we love you, Dell. This it's is okay. like a streamlined <laughs> professional experience, though. So this is how we record normally. I don't, I don't appreciate the unprofessionalism. <laughs> 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 this is how we record. We're like, hey, Rich, edit from. Or cut out 42 minutes to 47 minutes because <laughs> you know or don't it's we don't really care Leave it's it, fine oh, it's watch or, uh, Hemet meta on jeopardy i heard oh, about I it wish i wish i would have i haven't seen that i i saw the first night i missed the second night but i actually have the first night on is it on youtube i just heard about it after the fact on oa uh, yeah. I would love to see it. I I really like the friendly atheist. Yeah, we it. watched it. Mm-hmm. Both hosts. Oh Dude, yeah. I could put this live on YouTube right now. Really? <laughs> but I'm not gonna. <laughs> or Facebook. I don't really. I've I've never used this, and I'm just looking at all the settings. We're just playing with it. <laughs> That's very cool to know because I I like yeah. what you can do with this. And if the sound is like anything I'm hearing on the headphones, we can use this sound. Sorry to interject business well, here, but. That's we why we paid talk. for it was because yeah. it had it, it was the only thing we could find that had a feature where it would go straight to YouTube without us fucking around with it. So. I think Streamyard does that too. Does it? Yeah. Uh, we, so. did, we did like two minutes of research. So. Yeah. <laughs> it took a long time. Hangouts used to, and they stopped. But it was like a fall. It was a five and a half minutes. minutes. Five was and a half. Yeah. I, it I, seemed longer from my head. I did a snack break. Work. Yeah, two minutes, three, five and a half. Yeah. Same. Yeah, it used to be Hangouts, and then they just quit existing. Stopped. We've used that before. Started, yeah. Stopped August of last year. Oh, wow. I feel like we could just use Google Classroom now, though, right? It's the exact same thing, just for no kids. No one else is using it, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Skype just upgraded to compete with Zoom, so who knows? Ooh. Oh, good. I bet yeah, they did. We do Teams at work. We use Microsoft Teams. Yeah, that's what we use. It's, I don't even know Skype my Skype login now. anymore. We use Skype for business, but we're in the communications business, so we really use it poorly. Like, uh, <laughs> don't have sound hooked up or anything, and you know, or the others don't have video. <laughs> so you're trying to speak sign language to someone who doesn't have video, and it, it, it's really uh, it, it's ridiculous. But uh, yeah, that's we use Skype. Yeah, Skype. Fine, but I didn't think it had. I, I really don't know anything about technology, but all of a sudden Zoom was in everybody's face, and it was like, hey, we can use that. And then, mm-hmm. oh, hey, look, it has a feature where you can go to YouTube. But oh, wait, you have to pay for that. God damn it! And then once we decided to pay for it, I couldn't get it to go through with the delightful Bitchcraft account, and then it tried to like it was a whole it was a shit show. It's a whole thing. That's why it's we have funny to everybody the checks their phone when one person's phone goes off. <laughs> <laughs> I just do it when I'm ignoring Amy usually. Yeah, I play full Matt games from Canada has game. his hand up. Oh, yes, oh, Matt. Got to unmute. Okay, I'll unmute now. This is for alliteration, Amy, since she asked earlier on Facebook for a picture of snow. Oh, yeah, I did. 
<gasps> oh wow! Ew. <laughs> we are, uh, it. We're Ew. about ten degrees below normal for this time of year, even it's, here. Yeah, it's cold here too. Yeah, it's like uh, a whole it's sixty-five up, yeah. degrees here. Oh, unapologetic yeah, is here. Yeah, I don't understand that. Better be that Nikki. Strange, that, yeah, those strange numbers. Yeah, we're about to have a cold snap here. <laughs> What's that? Uh, we're at about Celsius. minus. <laughs> We're at about minus five Celsius, so what's that, 25 Fahrenheit? Yeah, I don't, we don't do math. I don't know. But for Probably anybody like who, what is for a anybody who saw the post Fahrenheit. from yesterday, I did just have some uh, Canadian cobra chickens fly over top. I saw that. Is that what you call them there? Well, that's what I call them now. Oh, Okay. I mean, is that like a whole Canadian thing, or is that just a you thing? That's just uh, me and uh, some family members who have seen that post. Okay, well, we need to get it to take off, because it's a great term. I agree completely, but I will oh. remute now. I have to start making supper. Okay, send us some when you're done. Yeah, I'm hungry. We'll make dinner. You can mute yourself. You're you're fine. Wow. <laughs> You're like right. The, Amy's trying to work right now. She's a professional. I'm busy. You can what go cook, doing? motherfucker. <laughs> Make me food. <laughs> Wait, I'm they cook. I can order stuff. How does everybody feel about the word supper? I fucking nope. hate it. No. I don't like I mean, it. It's Not dinner. Kind of, kind of old fashioned. It, it is dinner. I was raised on supper, and that's the way it's always been. <laughs> no, it's always okay no. with me. I've had both su- supper a, and dinner. To change it. <laughs> For no reason. See, where I'm from, a lot of people think dinner is lunch. So yeah, you have and, to say supper that's or weird. you'll confuse people. Dinner's yeah. lunch in regions of the UK as well. Interesting. See, we yeah. have an ongoing fight in our house because, like, Dell is close to where I am, too. And my husband grew up even closer to where you are, and they use dinner and supper and it drives me crazy because i i don't know why it just does i hate dinner for supper. lunch messes me up <laughs> but yeah so i like to use lunch and dinner but now our kids are confused because they don't know if dinner is lunch or dinner i don't know yeah, in the UK, they don't use the word dinner to be. but do you drink pop yes lots of it soda i mean maybe you should just call it the nighttime mill it's pop <laughs> Night. See, Coke. I feel like dinner uh, sounds fancier. Pepper, pepper, Coke. <laughs> Amy, I, I have, I have, a, I have an interjection. Mm-hmm. Rich changed his name like he's proud of the number. I think you, that might be a problem. Uh, hold on, I can delete him. <laughs> you can just delete him. <laughs> you know, I still don't see Nikki. Uh, yeah. That kind of hurts Come on, a little Brent, bit. Turn I your mean, camera on. Right here. It hurts. It's, it's actually better to see the pain. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it helps you grow. Is, yeah. is that what Here's this is? I think it's more of a sunburn than actual pain. I hear Nikki. So. I have this really weird illness where, like, the moment I get home, I have to just be as little clothes as possible. <laughs> So it's like, oh, I gotta put on clothes. I love y'all so much, but That's you right. put on clothes. Oh, friends own. here, it's fine. Do video stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going on YouTube. I mean, it's, it's not going on anywhere. YouTube. Camera to where it's only showing your face up. Yeah, you yeah. don't have to have clothes on. I'm wearing my pajamas, so. <laughs> Apparently, people I'm wearing are buying shirt shirts and casual pants. I read. I, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> so like button button up shirts and like jogging trousers or I'm are wearing my silly. fantastic backwards Amazon shirt because the back was printed on the front and the front was printed on the back <laughs> when I used to work there they just gave it to us anyway so like complaining to get them reprinted for some reason that's funny well, that's nice <laughs> uh oh okay here we oh Jesus what do you think of the Chris Small situation <laughs> Kristen. <laughs> What's that? What do you think of the Chris Smalls situation with Amazon? Um, I haven't heard that part. Oh, he was was the guy who uh, started a protest and then got fired? All right, yeah, I think that was terrible. But I think that Amazon's, I've always thought that Amazon's terrible. It's just cheap to use and I'm poor, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I think that's a lot of people's. Oh, I thought you meant you said you worked there. 
Yeah, I used to. Yeah. Yeah, I worked there here in California, and then for a little bit while I lived in Texas, too. So was it like, as awful as they say? Um, it wasn't too bad here in California, but the one in Texas sucked balls. Oh, I Everything in, in Texas bad way. sucks balls. Yeah, but, so can... Texas treats their employees terrible because there's so many people competing for jobs. That you, yeah. they pay you really badly, and they don't care if you leave because there's 20 people that want your want your spot. They don't care. America, well, they, they set like Fuck ridiculous yeah. standards for you to meet to yeah. do the work even anyway. Yeah, it's I impossible. had a whole meeting yesterday about the whole. I first five minutes or ten minutes was about how poor our production has been the past three weeks when we've been shifting to working from home the past three weeks. No one addressed that. They just went straight to, here's why you're terrible. Wow. Yeah, I was texting Amy. I'm like, I hate my job. Uh, yeah, I was texting Amy. I'm like, I hate my job. <laughs> I get to work. I'm a substitute um, at the school district, and so I have no work right now. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Yeah, we let all our subs go, too. And like, just tell, it was like, we had a bunch of permanent ones, too, that were going to be there for, like, they, I mean, indefinitely, and it was like they were going to turn, you know, be like a regular teacher eventually, and they just let them all go. So, yeah, I'm lucky to still have a job. Yeah. Andy has okay. Eltoids. I saw Ooh. that. <laughs> I'm lucky to get paid to not work. Yeah, he's literally playing Animal Crossing behind me as I'm working ten hour days. <laughs> <laughs> That's me too. That's so funny. That's oh my god, situation. that is exactly our situation. <laughs> I'm sitting there like your island's so nice. And he's like, Yeah, you've played like three minutes in the past week. I'm like, Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason for that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Brent's so proud of himself when he does, like, the tiniest thing. He's like, ooh, I took out the trash today. <laughs> oh. I don't have to do anything else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Although, at this point, neither one of us is working, so we're but just, we're just we're gonna kill each other eventually. We're just looking at things. I'm like, the dishes are stacked up. He was like, so you want to order food? I'm like... Yes. <laughs> I don't want to do them. <laughs> Finally had to cave today and just, there were literally no plates left. And I'm like, God damn it. Ooh, paper plates. Okay. Yes, we, we actually had some paper plates, yeah, but then I we ran out of those too. So. Those. No, we do have paper plates because we oh. ordered out and got paper plates. We did. And we got some from the pizza place. That's how we yes, got Yes, we got some from Fuzzy's Tacos. <laughs> Fuzzy's. I have some, but keep forgetting that I, I have them. I know. This sound like hmm. a great talk. This is Chappy, everyone. Hi, Chappy. Hi, Chappy. Oh, 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 oh. Is Chappy a Maine Coon? She's, I think he is part Maine Coon. He's definitely not full blooded, but look at this. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like a human <laughs> baby. Big boy. Big like hey, baby. Fluffy kitty. Fluffy kitty. Yeah, that's a big cat because Amy's a normal sized person. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, totally. <laughs> I'm not miniature or anything. No. It's funny because I was listening to your uh, Tiger King episode yesterday. Oh, yeah. So. I just watched the first episode this morning. It's crazy, it's, isn't it? It's, I haven't watched yeah. it. I couldn't handle Bananas. it. I'm like, yeah, this is too weird. I'm like, uh. Yeah. So. It's very Oklahoma. Uh, Stop then my roommate it. went to use the TV, and then I went to go back, and then I was like, oh, wait, it's almost time for the chat, so I can't watch anymore right now. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't worry, sense. it'll still be there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was so sad. I was like, I don't want to watch the last episode, because then it's I can't over. go back. It's over. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm re-watching it right now. I just rewatched episode three, and now I'm even more convinced that Carol killed her husband. <laughs> I won't let me re-watch it. I didn't say what? that. Don't yes. Say that. That's, that's exactly what you said. It was just that. I want to watch Batman. <laughs> you let her do what she wants to do. She's working. Thank you. Good too, though. <laughs> We're legit Sexual. watching Batman right now. <laughs> <laughs> I've only seen this movie like thousands of times. <laughs> yeah, that reminded me the two Amy's is. are uh, the two Amy's are uh, <laughs> going to talk to me about it, aren't they? Still? Yes, I would love to. I haven't Wait. set anything up yet. Yes, I've been yeah. waiting. I'm like, Nathan's going to do it. I want to talk so much. Is she, 
I just saw the <laughs> meme. Ours. I just saw the meme where it was like Amazon packages being delivered, and it said, "Did Carol, did Carol Baskin kill her husband?" And you put the package on the right for yeah, no. I saw that. <laughs> the, main, the main thing yes. is the, the main debate qu- that everybody, the main question that everybody's debating is whether this show would would have been as popular if everybody wasn't quarantined. I think so. Probably I think not. it would have. I think so. It's pretty crazy. Considering I think it would have been popular, but not quite as much. Maybe. Because <laughs> everybody's bored. We're all looking for things to watch. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't I don't know what I'm going to watch many now. People seen I it. know I wouldn't have watched it if it wasn't. I wouldn't before. have if it weren't for the memes. The memes yeah. are what got me. Mm-hmm. I wasn't going to watch it until <laughs> I saw you guys did the episode. And then I was like, oh, well, now <laughs> I got to watch it first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and all these uh, people from fl- all, all my friends on Facebook mm-hmm. who are from Florida were like, you guys have never been to Florida. <laughs> I, I've Why seen are you so that. shocked? <laughs> That's us. We're from Florida. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking yeah. about you guys when I was watching it, about Brent and Nikki. <laughs> Just like, ugh. Is that what it's really like down there? Watch out for Carol Baskin. She lives by you. Yes, she yeah. does. Right across the bridge. I actually remember a friend of mine was like, dude, when we were hanging out when we were kids, he was like, dude, there's like a, a, a tiger out here. Not kids. We were like young. But he was like, dude, there's a tiger in this person's like yard and shit. And I was like, nah. Uh. And we're like, but I was like, that's a fucking yeah. tiger. Okay. See, that's not, I want that. <laughs> Only get cows out here. No. I'll get you some cows. <laughs> yes, we do. Yeah. We, there's been so many times where cows are like wandering in the street. No. Hey, there's oh, cows in Florida cow too. Next to my high school, and there was like literally a cow pasture right next to my high school. Like, like it's they get out. Cows. Yeah, exactly. Like my my kids are just staring out the windows and they're cows. Mm-hmm. Hey, we've got deer in the streets of Oregon now. Uh, In my high school, we had cows and a llama. Fun. <laughs> a llama. I love it. <laughs> I have llama. a picture of myself okay. with Random Joe Exotic's cats. Uh, <gasps> so, like when I was a little kid, I have, I'm awesome. harassing my mom to go find it because my grandma actually like knew him like fairly well because he came yes. to her county fair every single year. So oh, yeah. I even I, I even know it was him because I remember he would give his speech about the cats and then he would like go into this weird tangent about drunk driving. And as a child, I was just like, why? Why is this happening? It only makes sense now. Thing ever. But it's because his brother, you know, they talked about yeah. his brother. Yeah. Got... yeah. And I'm like, oh my God, I know this guy. And I, but it was so expensive to get a photo with the cats. So that's, that's why I only weird. ever did it once, even though I went to their thing every year. That's so, how they yeah. get you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we need to start a tiger farm, Amy. I do. I, well, I just want the tiger cubs because that's where the money's at. Well, yeah. Until they're four months old, then you got to get rid of them. Because right. they're not cute anymore. They're not cute anymore. Well, because they could take your hand off. Yeah, like I, I do with my cats. Cute. They're just dangerous. Look, if there's one thing I've learned is that you have way too many teeth to have tigers. True. <laughs> <laughs> get upset. <laughs> get jealous. All right, Amy, create some conversation. Oh my gosh. Oh, actually, so I just had, I had him bring me in that book. Mm-hmm. So we have the Texas Bachelor mm-hmm. book Ooh, that's coming oh, up. Oh, so excited. Nice. So I was just flipping through the other day and page 121. I missed the segments on your podcast with that book. I know. This guy, he's censored. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited to read his bio. That's going to be our next episode. Yeah, that's going to be the next. And I date me. He was born. I mean, that's in- a big censor box. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> he was Potato. born in 1926 too, so I'm real excited to see where this is going to play out, or how this is going to play out. Uh, he's not even have, a boomer, yeah. huh? There's this his phone number too, so I'm real magazine. excited about that. I wonder if he takes text. I'll try. Right. Give it a call. <laughs> Are you sure Carol Baskin didn't kill him yet? No, <laughs> maybe. It's 120 like something thing. if he's alive. So <laughs> yeah, he's he's laying on a leopard skin rug. It's really funny. Yeah. I'm very excited. I like this guy for the next one. <laughs> okay. Ooh. I like the just do it shirt. <laughs> That's it. I know we're trying to figure out what we can do for the the soup too. Like I want to be able to do like something. more bonus content for soup. Yeah. Stuff. Well, I liked the conspiracy chowder. We just recorded one. Yeah, we're just going to... We did one on coronavirus, but there's not enough conspiracies. There weren't enough conspiracies yet. Now they're coming up. Oh, I, I know. <laughs> conspiracy chowder is edited and ready to go. 
Yay! <laughs> so you'll get that very soon. There you yes. go. I miss when you were online dating and you would tell those stories. So <laughs> I can't go back to that. Go back to online dating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we have show content. Get back on Tinder. Yeah, just, for, just for fodder. It's yeah. worth it. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. That was some great a gentleman caller. It's for work. <laughs> that was excellent, yes. <laughs> that was terrible, though. The experiences themselves were terrible. <laughs> Worst two weeks of my life. Take one Thanks. for the team. I Not- know, like, it only took you two weeks. I've been online dating for like a year, but I haven't found anything. <laughs> It was a long two weeks, though. <laughs> I had to get off of online dating. It's terrible. It's yeah, terrible. Especially when you're trans. People are, are mean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's... I think I just got lucky. I, that's it. I honestly. think you got really lucky. Yeah. Because, I, I mean, every everybody else I met were just, like, garbage. You know? <laughs> I had no luck with it. It's terrible. I just stayed married for 18 years because I'm too lazy to date, so... <laughs> It's not works all good. Although there was the the funny one, I liked texting people that I would, had no intention of ever meeting because they would ask you like, "What kind of car do you drive?" You're like, "Really? That's your that's your starter." Uh, the last time I uh, online dated, I met this woman who uh, ended up uh, calling it off because she called me a book bro, and I had never heard of or no a, a lit a lit bro, and I had never heard that term before. Because she asked, she asked me what I was reading, and I said, "Oh, I'm reading uh, Slaughterhouse Five and Catch Twenty Two because that's what I was yeah. reading at the time." And she says, "What are you, some kind of lit, some kind of lit bro?" And I said, "What's a lit bro?" And apparently, a lit bro is a guy who uh, start starts to read high end literature right when he's starting to date, so that he can say uh. that he <laughs> literature. That's a whole, that's a thing. That's a thing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, lit bro. That's Everything's dumb. a thing. I'm glad there's a term for it because I, 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 can, I can actually see a lot of people doing that. Yeah. yeah that makes sense. Right? Well, now we can Google watch out for all of them. Warn and yeah. see what you come up with. I, was, I wasn't, I wasn't in the sexual of that thing. Wait, do they actually Did, read the books or just get the cliff notes? Because. There's get a book report. I don't. I don't doubt that it's a thing because it sounds exactly like something some guys would do. But True. I was actually I was actually innocent. But. You right. buy the book and then you read the cliff notes so that she can see the books when she comes home. You got <laughs> Thank you. And just in case she wants to talk about it, you have to know a little bit about it. So that's why you have to get the cliff notes. But then you have to hide those. So you hide yeah, the exact. Just tell her about your copy of Catcher in the Rye. You're good. It's <laughs> <laughs> always a good starter. Mm-hmm. Okay, I, so in, in college, I bought cliff notes one time, and I was an English major, and I was supposed to enjoy reading. And I hated <laughs> the awakening so much that I went and just bought the cliff notes and wrote all my papers using cliff notes. <laughs> it's a boring I feel like book. a lot of people did that. <laughs> yeah. But, like, I was supposed to be the person that wanted to read the books. Some Not books. Yeah. You don't have to read all the books. Yeah. That doesn't mean you have to like them all. Exactly. <laughs> you have to like all books ever. Yeah, but when you're taking a literary <laughs> theory class, you should probably read the literature. Yeah. Theoretically, <laughs> I needed it. Done. <laughs> mm-hmm. well, nowadays, you, you know. YouTube, uh, YouTube basically has, like, animated stories about these things. So you can just do that. <laughs> like Everything the book. YouTube. That's true. Oh yeah, like Crash Course has uh, that. That's, oh, I love Crash Course. Crash Course is yeah. They've got oh, a literature. Yeah. Uh, they've got a literature series where they summarize all the classic works of literature with cartoons, and they do the- <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, they, they have the same thing with philosophy, and they've got a economics one and a history one. It's, it's great. Yeah, I could use that. I could use the philosophy one. Funny thing about Crash Course is they—they they are what I modeled my master's thesis after. Oh really? Well, that's right. Yeah. I remember that. So, and one of the things I liked about uh, what Crash Course did is like the same producers. They actually did sort of like a vlog series, uh, doing like Jane Austen, doing like a vlog series of like Pride and Prejudice and Emma. And I've I really le- enjoyed those. I've learned. <laughs> I've learned so much. From, uh, drunk Comedy Central's drunk. I just history. got flipped off by Willis, Amy. I'm just saying. I'm not paying attention. So. Okay. Apparently, I told him he wasn't cool, and he didn't like that. Um, <laughs> this is why I'm not reading the chat. I can't focus on two things at once. So. Tell me I'm not cool. 
I'm just gonna pretend yeah, I don't see the chat. No, you said I'm he with was Amy cool. Willow Y on that one. I can't yeah. do the chat and the thing. No. <laughs> too many, too many things going on. He's you're in the wrong friend. group. You're in the wrong group for that. <laughs> exactly. I'm not nice to anybody. No, I she's friend. really not. Don's son keeps trying to find long-term girlfriends on Tinder. We're like, do that. But he swears that it is. Are we it's wrong? Not the target market. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, you know what you can do. One of my favorite YouTube series is this guy. He all he does is read Reddit stories. Ooh, that sounds fun. <laughs> but literally, he does like malicious compliance or choosing beggars. And there's like an all my date, and then he also does like one where it's like, let's not meet. And, and he basically just reads Reddit and like stories from Reddit threads, and he he has like a million uh, subs. That sounds and fun. Like, so, yeah, his, uh, it's like it's called uh, R slash, and I just I listen to those stories in the morning while I'm getting ready. So. <laughs> <laughs> so we're taking suggestions <laughs> for any suggestions. So I'm just I'm just saying if you're not personally online dating, maybe you can still take not. maybe you can steal other people's stories from Reddit. <laughs> Let's just pretend they're your stories. Just plagiarize them straight off the internet, but tell them in the first person. Well, we've also we've actually talked about it. I'm like I should just like reactivate a profile and then just you know just see what happens. Get oh, the stories. I've got a, oh, I've got a, I've got a suggestion. Uh, bad fan fiction on Ooh. the on the internet. There's a there's a YouTube uh, a YouTube channel called Hannah and Jake. I don't know if you're familiar with them. I'm not. No. Uh, they're a secular atheist uh, liberal uh, YouTube channel, and they do they do different things. Uh, different videos doing different things and one of the series they're doing is bad fan fiction that they find on the internet uh, so like That'd be fun. they did yeah. a they did a, they, they found a website that has bad coronavirus fan fiction <laughs> uh, already yeah basically uh, taking characters from the marvel universe and placing them in a world with coronavirus and how the <laughs> how the avengers are handling quarantine and yeah. They, they just, just fade said, away, motherfucker. Read I'm just these. waiting for everyone to turn into zombies and seeing what's happening. <laughs> Seriously, I know that's what my expectation was. You know, it's gotta be. I'm zombies. like, this is how every horror movie starts. Like, this is how every zombie movie starts. Yes. Hey, we don't know this yet. Is a weird it may still that's turn people into zombies. It might. It it might come back to life. Well, there's that virus in, I, I can't remember, it does something to rats where it makes it come back, them come back to life and actually run towards cats. Yes. Why not? Huh? Yep. Yes. That's not real. It is. I don't want to live in a world where that's real. <laughs> it's real life. <laughs> I know there's that um, one thing for ants where it makes them this fungus gets in their brain yes. and it makes them climb up the um, yep. grass stalk yeah. and their head explodes yeah. and puts more fungus on the anthill. Yes. What? More <laughs> ants. That sounds like the movie The Ruins. This is why I hate science so much. It's actually <laughs> what, <laughs> one that. of the things that, um, that M. Night Shyamalan based uh, his movie on that everyone hated. The, the Happening? Hey, yeah. The happening. Oh, the girl with all the gifts? The one with the trees killing people. Yeah. Oh, the, the happy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Not the girl. All, all the, the movies aside scores. from the Sixth Sense. Was that just a book? Pretty much. Amy? Or was that? It was a movie yeah. too, but the movie was terrible. But the book Did was fantastic. Movie? I read oh, that. I love the movie. The book what? was fantastic. Uh, I've never the movie heard was. I thought the movie was that was right was, there with quality movie. Good, but it was. The book was better. That's. No, well, I'm <laughs> I'm just wondering uh, that meme I saw that says, uh, "Is this the part in the Stephen King novel where we all get our superpowers?" <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Not if we don't go outside. Superpowers. <laughs> it's got to be an old black lady in Louisiana. Yes, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Negro. <laughs> oh no! Uh, they like to say on Gam the magical black person. <laughs> yeah. It's important. Oh, no. We don't. We don't need a uh, Randall Flag and Mother Abigail. We've already got <laughs> Trudeau and Trump for that. <laughs> I know how to spell. I'm just doing awesome. I just. Uh, <laughs> I'm. I'm just. I'm really excited about him getting elected again. So. He's going to. So 100. Uh, me too. 100. percent Bernie Bros made sure of that. So. Yeah, I really hey, worry I'm that he is going to again. I had again. to force to uh, vote for Hillary last time. So. I know you have to. Who wants to break out into a fist fight? Let's talk about Bernie. 
Okay. Anybody? Uh, <laughs> let me show you guys something. Here, one second. Let's talk about <laughs> debating She'll human rights on right to reason. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Amy I, asked I'm me if I wanted to join her. I'm like, I'm that. good. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I just listened to those episodes and the recap. Can't do it. I'm like, oh I my. I couldn't God. do the cancel culture one. Like, I got mm -mm. 15 minutes in. I'm like, I'm done. It was difficult. Yeah. That one was it's, difficult. It was very hard. And we actually. Do you have a Bernie doll? Ahead of time. <laughs> of course you should. <laughs> oh, Nicole is We went extra. into it ahead of time going, I'm going to be really calm. So I'm and I got so mad right away. And I have Bernie. Yeah. Awesome. I was at a loss of words a few times. Mm -hmm. I was I, oh. I was. I told Brent, I think it's the only time you can hear me on a podcast, like, facepalm myself. <laughs> Dude, you're like, no, it's, like it's... I actually just go, oh, okay. And yeah. When he brought up the first percentage, you had to be black in order to be able to say the N-word. I was just like, I don't fuck, what the fuck? Oh, what? yeah, Brent lost his mind. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are you, you actually want to die on this hill? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Oh God. Yeah, that yeah. was bad. That's one of those things where it's hard because you don't like you know he's gonna do it anyway. <laughs> and so if they're gonna do that, you should at least have somebody who can can I don't know, I can't even I was gonna say uh, and I, well, I understand I understand that and I, to a point I agreed with yeah. that like but he keeps doing them. He did the abortion mm -hmm. debate. He did I can't for, remember what the second one was and they did this one mm -hmm. and it's just like he keeps doing these and he's gonna keep doing them if people keep saying well, that they'll do them. <laughs> he's trying to he yeah. was trying to get someone to debate David Silverman and I'm like I'm not going to. No. Yeah. No. no. Fuck David. You, asked me, to do you it. asked me to join you on one of them. I, I, I can't. No. Yeah. I told, Did you I'm, see I, my, my Twitter um, response to David Silverman? No. I dropped it. Uh, like so many friends because of David Silverman. So. You told Robert, I'm like, do not fucking let that guy on your show because you're going to lose Everybody. way more people than you think you're going to gain. Yeah. He's Everybody. an app. Don't do it. And I, I think he person. may have listened. I don't know. We'll see. Well, but. back when Amy knew me, like about five years ago, I was actually part of this other podcast and I was we, that. Yeah, we, be a complete asshole. We met through an asshole, actually. Yeah, we did. <laughs> wow. we did. You can say it. It's okay. It's this is a safe place. You can say his name. I don't want to say his name. But like, is it power? I heard him say Smalley five times in a row. He appears in your mirror. <laughs> that is you have how to we using blue eyes. Yeah, David Smalley. Yeah. Uh, that's, well, that's, if you if you stop uh, patronizing him, he will call you to find out why. He probably has my really? number somewhere. He <laughs> actually said that on um, what was it? Um, one of his shows. The opening arguments. Uh, oh. Or on well, it was serious inquiries only. Yeah, uh, when he did the debate with Andrew and Thomas. Well, he yeah, I had I had this person who um, stopped patronizing, so we we contacted him and said, "Hey, knows he stopped um, patronizing? Uh, may I ask why?" And he said it was because of um, main things I said to Andrew, and then then a second person did. So you're really hurting my um, livelihood with, with these allegations. Uh, oh, I remember that. The dude's hurting his own livelihood. I remember that. I remember, I remember him like, whining baby. about it. I don't. Hmm. Well, I only... what churches do? Yeah. Churches, when you start going to church, they call Thomas you and ask why you're not there. Yeah, they, they I'm they, a oh, professional I, I at that. Now. They really, I they really the care about the really the rich people, the congregants that are richer. They don't care. No, about no, 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 no. We we harassed all of them. We Mormons <laughs> like the rich people. They're uh, oh. very much prosperity gospel. Oh, okay. Broke people too. Don't worry. Yeah. No, not in not in Prosper. <laughs> they didn't care when I left. <laughs> We, everyone say hi to Brent and Nikki because we can see. I know them I now. can see you. Hi, so hi Brent and Nikki. You guys are awesome. Yeah. 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 Really comfortable and like here. We appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> we're all, Nikki we're and all Brent. cool. Yay. <laughs> I'm hoping nobody else is trying to join because I'm not paying attention to that thing right now. <laughs> uh oh, I'm oh, a Nikki. bad Zoom host. Ah. <laughs> 
I don't know how to do it. She has too much power. I should be I doing really it. I really do. It's all concentrated in the. Because I can era. do like 15 things at once because I have 20 kids. Booze delivery. <laughs> you have too many kids. I don't have enough kids. And mine are spaced too far apart. So that's the trick. Yeah. Well, mine were, but now they're like, I have too many kids. <laughs> When I was putting this ludicrous outfit on, this is my all whiskey. Ten-year-old was like, "Mom, try <laughs> put one of the gloves on so I can see how it looks," and then he approved. So he approved of it. Yeah, I sent I'm her like, a text. I was like, "Should we do like a screen test or something?" And then I she didn't answer, so I called her. And she was like, "I'm sorry, I'm putting on opera gloves." I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> and I don't then know how to I explain got it in the group. I'm like, opera gloves, technical difficulties. I don't even know. Yeah, <laughs> but then I got on here and I'm like, wait, how do, am I? Do I invite you? Did you invite? I don't. I don't know what we're doing. And I forgot that I'm the one that has the actual There's professional something. account yeah. under the. I was like, I don't have the Zoom on my computer. I don't. It's on. I yours. remember from a week or two ago. I don't remember that stuff. <laughs> so the practices are for. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, Pete. Sorry. Okay. One of the dogs is kicking me. Oh, to knock the dog off. He yeah. always kicks me. It's kind of his thing. My pugs are terrible. <laughs> just... That's why pugs are terrible. Who <laughs> just said that? Somebody said that there's a thread. I, there's, yeah, a there's, chat. A chat. there's a chat. I'm ignoring it, but it's I'm there. watching it because yeah. I have to. I have to pick up all the slack because. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There's people yeah. Talking about this. Wow. I'm, so, Amy, that leaves you and me to talk because everybody else is going to check the chat. <laughs> Apparently, I mean, I can do both. I've been doing it this whole time. My job is I to have enough, I've not really been paying attention to it. <laughs> Her job is to check the chat. <laughs> Apparently, my job is to check the chat. You... Guess who we got to hang out with today? Who's that? Besides uh, us? No illusions. Oh. <laughs> and you're here bragging about that? Yeah, yeah he's here. I'm hey, guess kidding. guess who won't come on your show? <laughs> so fucking happy about it. This has been him since this morning. I mean, we haven't we haven't asked him to be fair, but you know. <laughs> but we still like to talk shit and say we he won't come like on to our talk show. Shit. That's how we get everybody on our show, though. We just talk shit about them and then they come it's on. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> we talk enough shit about people. It's I working. <laughs> exactly. We were like, we, we're just using Brent to get to Nikki, honestly. <laughs> I, that's everybody. It's I, right. I was going to say, everybody's doing that. I mean, yeah. <laughs> that's why I said It's because up. she's not on social media, so they have to go through you to get to exactly. her. <laughs> exactly. That's, that's right. why Willis, you know, to get to Don. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the asshole who kicks me all the time? Oh, oh look at that oh face! He feels sad about it. Oh, <laughs> oh but it's so cute. I just want a dog so bad that she can play, play with Madge. Dogs are so much work, though. Ugh. I know. Yeah. And then in Texas, they get fleas like every July and August every year. That reminds me. Yeah, of you have to get like um, flea shit for my cat. What's yeah, that shit sucks. called. My sister just Front got line. two puppies. Next guard. So it's just I've, I've just been having like puppy fever. I understand. I have you. puppy fever, and we have two dogs. It's not like we can afford another one. I just want one. <laughs> I just want a cat because their cats are the worst, and I love them. Cats no. are amazing. I love cats. But I need. I keep telling him I need a coworker that's going to sit on my lap is allergic. and judge you. Exactly. Someone to sit and judge you. Thank my you. cats are always <laughs> fucking down here when I'm recording, I'm and now when I'm actually presentable and have people, now they won't show up. Uh, Shushu's like being a, a diva. I'm pretty sure. The ship went to me. Just put it in you a kid box. a little while ago, Amy. I did, and then he ran away. Usually, what they're doing is climbing into oh, a me? basket that I have over there, making lots of noise. But I had a, I had a cat until I moved in with um, mm-hmm. gentleman caller's parents. And their their cat sat outside the door and harassed my cat all the time, so we peed everywhere. Mm. So I had to find a new home for him because it was I was he was literally peeing underneath the headboard, oh. like every Can't day. Get that out. And cat pee is it's not it's there pretty. Forever. He would make eye contact with me and like pee in the tool bag or something. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> That's what they do. I know, they're That's assholes. Insane. And they make sure to vomit he was, on the rug. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he was cool all the time until we moved, and then he was just an asshole because he was miserable. <laughs> so That's how cats are. I mean, he was already, he's, his name was Moriarty because he was an evil genius. So Love it. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> I need another it's cool name. It's a good name. name. He looked like one. He was an asshole. I would walk by and he would like, 
every time. Since yeah. there's a lot of pets. Yeah, I know he here, liked you. <laughs> does anybody know what the name of the, you know how they have front line for fleas and ticks, but now there's a new one that lasts for like three months. What's that called? One of um, you there's Next Seasonal. Guard. Oh, wait. No. Next Guard is an edible thing now. <laughs> what would you say? Seasonal is a birth control pill. I know because I was <laughs> yes, on it, it once. I've been well, on every birth control months. pill they make. I, yeah. I'm allergic to it. I can't take it. That's why I have 20 kids. That's why you have so many kids. Yeah. No. No, I got it for the cat last year. I need to order some, and now I can't fucking remember what it's called. Go it's back. Is it a hand. pill? Or you no, you get it from the vet. It's like Frontline, but it lasts for three months, and it's a different brand. And mm. you get it Just ask your from vet, the vet. Then. I'm not very familiar with cat it's new. flea and it's... tick stuff. Are you texting your vet right now? No, I'm on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's a small town, I assume. Actually, up- my the vet tech who works with my vet lives down the road. I'm so just I kidding. Actually, I well, totally have my vet's phone number. I my text phone her too. sometimes, and I'm like, I think there's something wrong with my cat. What yeah, should I, I do? do. Yeah. My, the, my vet used to live downstairs for me in an apartment like 12 years ago. Downstairs? I don't know if I'm three Back in the day, he used to live downstairs, yes. Uh, oh, this is going to bug me now. You lived I above? Up to. I lived above the person <laughs> who was my vet, not the vet's office. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. You were on top of my vet? <laughs> the no, go through wishes. the waiting room. Like, sorry, folks. I got to take my meds <laughs> in my room. I know, but... No, it's, no. <laughs> the state of healthcare is really bad in Texas, so you got to take what you can get. So. <laughs> I don't even know what those words mean put together. Mm-hmm. Help. Yeah. Yeah. They have, uh, they have okay. coffee in the waiting area there. So mm-hmm. That's true. It's, a, it's usually really good coffee, too. <laughs> At vets' offices or doctors' offices? Any of them. I don't know. I don't go to any yes. of them. Okay. There's, I've never had coffee in my doctor's office. Toledo, next guard. Oh, everywhere. Yeah, we do. Coffee's everywhere. I have it in my... Um, Dentist office, which is See, weird. That's it, though. That coffee weird. at your dentist office? That is the yeah. weirdest yeah. one. For repeat business? <laughs> it's like, lovely. Before I go get my teeth whitened, I gotta, like, mess yeah. it up. Yeah, here's some again. coffee, here's some candy. <laughs> here's some- I think there's coffee everywhere you go that's, like, a... Yeah. We'll drill Doctors. it right out of there. It's fine. Yeah, Just it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's, called it's called Brevecto. Brevecto. Yeah. Brevecto. Uh, Brevecto. <laughs> Never yeah, there used to it. be a dentist's office kind of, not really close to here, but within the mm-hmm. state. Um, the dentist owned um, the dental <laughs> office and also an ice cream parlor. <laughs> I was going to say the candy factory. I exactly. think it was called I think it was called Dino Bites or something like that. That's funny. They were like right next door to each other. That's funny. That's a good, hilarious. Yeah. That's a good move. It is. It's, mm-hmm. that's, American. that's very American. You give away, it yeah, is. you give that's like right. ice cream coupons with each <laughs> dental cleaning. It's like these warlords <laughs> selling weapons to both sides of a war. Like, yeah. <laughs> you can't lose. I mean, exactly. yeah. yeah, well, way, that's you're Glenn Burnie Bernie for you. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> always winning. He's literally always winning. Glenn Burnout. Gotta love mm-hmm. it. Right. Glenn Tucky. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I purposely so did not move. Alice, I'm happy you get this. <laughs> yeah, I, I had because I I was in the military, um, and I lived here for five years, like 2002 to 2006, four and a half years. And during that time, I lived around Glen Burnie area and in Glen Burnie a couple times, and I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm never going back there, especially now that I'm out as trans. Fuck that shit. <laughs> right? I used to live in um, Mead Village. Do you know where that is? Um, I think so. Severna Park? Yes. It, well, so Severn. It's a, Severn, sorry. It's a yeah. right across from project. <laughs> It's by Fort Meade. Yeah, right across from Fort mm-hmm. Meade. Goodness. That and everyone was fun. else is like, we have no idea what they're no talking idea. about. Yeah. <laughs> what state I'm is just muting that? myself so I can chew in Mar- the Maryland. Maryland. We're talking about Maryland. Maryland. Okay. Oh, okay. shit. Right I on. used to live in Grosvenor Park. What? Really? what? Yes. When? Yeah, I'm in Columbia. 
in, when I lived in DC, the oh. DC area, it's oh. right there. Yeah, I yeah, I grew fun. up in um in Prince George's <laughs> County, like nice. what? Um, yeah. Yeah, PG and Montgomery are yeah. the like hot spots for coronavirus right mm-hmm. now. That is not surprising at all. In DC. No, not at all, because there's so many people down there. And, oh, fucking but then why is Trump refusing to wear a mask? Like, refusing. Because <sighs> he's an idiot. Nothing can kill him. He's invincible. <laughs> yeah, I, there's literally nothing that can kill him. So. Have you guys been, have, have, has anybody been to Gaslit Nation? Been aware, what? huh? Hmm? The podcast, Gas- Gaslit Nation. Oh, no, I've heard, heard of it. Yes! Oh. I've heard of it, but not listened to it. Mm-hmm. Like, Is it good? Uh, oh. There's some conspiracy stuff out there about Trump, like, being, getting inoculations or being immune to coronavirus. <laughs> of course are. My son, my nine-year-old is like, if I hear more about the coronavirus, I'm never watching <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, Trump has the cure for corona and cancer. He's cool. He's good. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. <laughs> sure. uh, these us. conspiracies like the about cell, the cure of cancer is discussed in the next uh, CC uh, episode, which will release soon, right? Oh Amy? yeah, we mm-hmm. did talk about the cancer. Did we talk cures. about that? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I See, I can't remember. I love these cons- about. cancer cures. Conspiracies Apparently, we because... cured cancer. No, no, yeah. I, I thought you said COVID cures. I'm oh, so... oh no, no. no. Yeah. No, no, no. We, we can cure they, cancer too. It's fine. Yeah, the yeah same I'm thing sorry. Too. I'm I'm yeah. old. I'm as old as I look in this. It's all talking about. It's cool. <laughs> we've we've cured all kinds of things. We cured sexism and racism. We're good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We had a black president. Racism's gone, right? Check. It's all right. It's all. <laughs> Forever is I done. I say it all the time. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Doesn't matter that like um, uh, racial hate groups and white supremacist groups had what a three hundred percent increase in membership. Uh, under Obama. Oh, yeah. Because it's good it doesn't on matter both that sides. I live a few houses down from somebody who regularly waves a Confederate flag, and I'm oh, not wow. even a mile outside of Baltimore City. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm in on. Minnesota. That's the, na- the naval well, battle flag. Yeah, the, oh, yeah, the, the I have, freedom flag. Or no, I have two. Don't even, don't even <laughs> live across the world. Here's about the that. thing it's like, disgusting. The, the guy the on the one side of the street does the. <laughs> The guy on the one side of the street waves the um, the stars and bars like a <laughs> battle flag. But then there's these people across the street who try to do this like super secret, you know, people aren't going to know that we have a hate flag. <laughs> it's the um, the flag of the Confederacy. Every time oh, yeah. I see that shit, I'm just like. Everybody but why knows. would you fly that if you don't want people to know? Apparently they just, they just. Like they should well, be proud of that. They don't shit, give right? a shit. And here, well, here's the thing: they don't want to be like, persecuted. Come on. Oh, don't <laughs> pick a side. Like, don't yeah. wave the American flag right next to it. Mm-hmm. It's <laughs> like to them, it's one of. The- and they do you, it all you do the time. realize that they didn't like that one, right? <laughs> right. That was the whole point. Yeah. <laughs> These are two right. opposing sides here. <laughs> you're waving both of them. <laughs> there you go. I like the Ravens and the Steelers. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> you I don't know what that, that means. Around. I know it's a you it's know. a football thing. I think it's a sports thing. I figured thing. it meant you like two opposing football teams. Oh, I don't how do you know. Alex, Alex, you know we are watching a rerun of a Ravens Steelers game now. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> We get Tom Brady. You're watching now. Batman. Oh, I heard that. The Tom Brady is. <laughs> we finished watching Batman. Moving okay. somewhere. Yes. He's moving to our city, like down the street, literally. Like into your house. In a, in a nicer place, like clearly. Where do you live? Oh, you guys are in Tampa. We're in St. Pete, but he was. Oh, we were like, like. We were down there. How many weeks ago is it now? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> We were visiting my mother-in-law down in, um, she lives like outside of Tampa, but we went over to St. Pete to take the dogs to the beach, and that was an adventure. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. (laughs) I want to move to Florida now, but- We'll go there when when we can visit people again. Well, 
It's yeah, cool it's enough gonna, you could turn it blue if enough of us go down there, right? But we can't. I never thought I'd say I want to move to Florida. People. <laughs> as long as I'm on the coast. <laughs> just, just wait. <laughs> no, that's terrible. Once coronavirus kills off enough of the old that's people. That's what I'm saying. Just right? wait. <laughs> Florida will be wide open. I don't mind dying for the economy. I was saying that. I was thinking it. But my governor, my we lieutenant governor says it. that you want to. I heard no. that. Oh, I'm, I don't want to the hurricane. <laughs> Oh my God! What is up with the Texas Lieutenant Governor? What is that guy? We don't what know. The fuck? You mean my next president? <laughs> oh yeah, sexy ass in the country. country. Yeah, it's so it's a whole other country. <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to have to try and get people um, excited to vote for Joe Biden. I know, I know right? Right now. No, oh, I mean, technically, Bernie Sanders can still pull it out, but mathematically, it's not so. likely to happen. Hey, at least they won't have to do it in person. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. Come on, let's be real. Bernie was never trying to win. He's just trying to push the agenda left. Let's be real. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. Yeah, why he almost killed himself trying to win? Yeah. <laughs> she has her doll. <laughs> I think he wanted to win. <laughs> well, if you wanted to win like Perot wanted, wanted to win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love how Nicole's camouflaged. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Can we have a moment of silence for Elizabeth Warren? Oh. Oh. Have you seen that meme where it's like you could have had a bad bitch presidential? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Well, yeah. That's we had the, the most diverse um, group oh, of go people something. running for president on the Democratic ticket, and now we're voting between two old white two guys. Two white guys, yeah. <laughs> I know, I hate it. Well, because, Nothing you know, now. people can't actually handle well, well yeah i mean we well, we want a woman president but not that one and not that right. one and not that one well and <laughs> honestly there's no way america could handle a woman president after the black president there's no way they yeah just, no that too much would change just be horrifying like, people like my dad like my dad's across america would like their brain he can't handle it yeah. 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 Best governor ever. Wow. <laughs> Man of action. <laughs> Man of action. <laughs> wow. Uh, there's different. You can get Navy SEAL, Jesse. I Ventura. want that. <laughs> you can get the governor. I want the that. Governor. <laughs> Meet that. Yeah. Or, uh, or volunteer football uh, coach Jesse. I want Jesse I want Ventura. Here's another childhood photo that I have to dig up to share with you all. So there's a costume <laughs> contest where you, as a child, dress up a baby calf. And so, like, I put like a feather boa on the baby calf, and it was like a whole Jesse Ventura theme. And oh I wore like God. a sign that said, My governor can beat up your governor. Oh. And the calf was wearing a Fantastic. sign that said, Milk, it does the body good. Oh, oh my god. That's fantastic. It was so, I voted for him. I would have. Oh, wow. Everybody voted for him. It yeah. was It was nuts. Well, yeah. We had we had a time. grandma that ran for pres or ran for governor against um it a couple a couple years ago and she would like bring cookies to the meetings. I totally voted for the cookie grandma. Like 100%. Why wouldn't you? Well, yeah. Exactly, but she didn't win. But the scary thing about like Jesse in, was um, it was just like Trump. Everybody was just voting because it was like, yeah, he's but you know novelty. where he stands. He's not afraid to speak his mind. He's yeah, not a regular politician. Not a politician. <laughs> just like in yeah. very blue California, they got Arnold Schwarzenegger. Mm -hmm. Arnold, right? Uh, it's yep. like oh, I wasn't uh, here for that. Uh, does, like, um, politics. Yeah. <laughs> Arnold was now they got Reagan, too. Oh, books, at least. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, he was pretty cool. Like he was. I remember my family talking about Arnold Schwarzenegger, and they were like, "No, he's a fucking Democrat in disguise." <laughs> <laughs> they said that about Trump too, and he's clearly not. No, no. Really. He's he's really. For, uh, yeah. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah. I have friends who cannot disclose that they're That's trans because be they would away. ruin their military yeah. careers right now. Yeah, yeah and there's so something sad. seriously wrong with that. Where do people get the idea that celebrities will never act like a politician? That's what 
But or that not... they're smarter than other people. Like it seems <laughs> like people think if you're a celebrity, especially if you're an actor, you must sound like they'll give interviews where they sound like maybe they know what they're talking about, but they well, really I don't even understand I think... where that comes from. I don't either. I can tell you how those interviews mm-hmm. get set up. Here's part of the problem that I have with that is that the same people who voted for Trump gave us Trump in office are the people who every time a celebrity speaks out about a cause, they oh, oh yeah. Go back to acting. Why are mm-hmm. you political? Right? Yep. Yeah, they yeah, that they literally voted for Reagan and Trump. And it's like... Yeah. They're, <laughs> they're different, right. though. Literally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's okay when it's them. Well, you know, I once heard the <laughs> saying that uh, politics is Hollywood for ugly people. So, Oh, yeah. that's fantastic. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right, okay. AFC would beg to differ. <laughs> really just nothing to tell you. Do you know... That whole Hollywood for ugly people thing, it's somewhat true, but also on the Hill, actually, they do this thing where every year they do, like, in the Hill magazine, they do a whole spread on, like, the 50 most attractive Hill staffers. (laughs) Like it is disgusting. It's like all these like young blonde. Are they online? I'm interested. Republican <laughs> senator blank. That yes. I don't even a girl should be blank, and it's just like it is the weirdest shit. And I'm like, this is <laughs> who the fuck cares? But Amy, they we need to find this. I will yes. read those. I agree. Right, date me. No, if we're, find those, Nikki. we can do those for Romans. That would be fantastic. There you go. Um, <laughs> oh, man, that would be funny. Yeah. On opening arguments, Andrew spoke about how Kavanaugh wants a certain type of um, uh, staffer for his, uh, mm-hmm. I forget what they're called, the new lawyers who help the judges. Oh, clerks. Uh, clerks, clerks? Yes. Yeah, clerks of the court. Like yeah. he had a type, and it was always a young, attractive woman. Of a, yep. like, it was gross. And yeah. the thing, and the, it's just accepted. And like even principals do that shit. Like yeah. people know, oh yeah, that principal only hires young blonde teachers, and it's just like a thing. Yeah, mine does. That's <laughs> all the way to my school. It's like you can, we can oh, have a fucking swimsuit calendar. And that's why our education system's in the shitter. Mm-hmm. Well, I I went on a job interview once where it was like a group mm-hmm. interview at a chiropractor's office, and he kind of went around the room. And as you were leaving, he asked the people to come, like two people, to come back for uh, a more like final interview. And it was the two women that wore like the lowest cut shirts that he was like, "You come back, you come back." Yep. Oh my and gosh. Mine was just high enough. It was sad that day. So mm-hmm. <laughs> no, it was a chiropractor's practice, and the first thing he said when you walked to the door was, "We're in this practice, we pray together." Oh, God. <laughs> like, nope. I remember you talking about that. Right it was too. So bad. It was so bad, and I pass it every day because it's right around the corner from my house now. And every time I drive by there, I'm like. But everybody yeah. in the office wore like real tight scrubs with like low V's. Everybody. <laughs> I was like, that bullet? I can't wasn't, walk. It wasn't I your tits that lost you that job. It was it the was faces face. you made. I couldn't keep a straight face because he said that shit. And I was like, I can't pray with you, weirdo. And then he's like, we don't offer health care because if you do everything that I tell you to do, you won't need it. Like, oh, because no. it's fair. We give you chiropractic care and that'll yeah, solve anything. They fix everything. It, it was, it was, so it was called the Freedom Clinic. I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Are the chiropractic offices being overloaded by COVID patients right now, or am I? Missing? I'm sure he's essential. Uh-oh. Ask him. <laughs> Just ask him. Massage therapists aren't allowed in this uh, in the state of Maryland to practice. Oh, really? good. That's massage good. Massage therapists. Yeah. Chiropractors. I, I, I don't know if chiropractors can. Oh, it's on the state. It's state by state. Oh, Texas. Texas probably tells them my my particular county. What did they say? That, that everybody is essential? Yep. All businesses are essential. <laughs> All businesses are essential. Go to oh, work. God. They said go to, go to work. And if you don't have a job, find one. That's literally. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. What count? Is this called? Yep. This is late stage capitalism where. where yeah. yeah. Have you seen that? It was. It was it's in Colin. And then my mayor issued a citywide thing. Fuller, he issued a citywide thing, and then he got sued for it because he was. They said he was unconstitutional. Wait, he did what? He issued a citywide shelter in place. It's crazy. 
<laughs> it's all this drama. Everybody's suing everybody right now in my county. Don't do laws. Don't do laws. right. Get home. Yeah. Might as well. <laughs> and these are old guys. They're all. It's, yeah. It's not okay. <laughs> well, we're going to get a gun sanctuary in our county, so I'm pretty excited about that. A gun oh, sanctuary? Fun. Uh, well, a Second Amendment sanctuary, or a Second Amendment sanctuary city. Really a yeah. county, because right. they're trying to pass it through the county, that's, but we're going to be that, a, That's like every city in Texas. We're all gun Well, you Second guys just are to begin with. Legal, but we're legal in Minnesota. Open carry here. But goats aren't allowed above what, the third what do they mean by sanctuary? In hotels. They, what they mean by sanctuary is that we they, want the, they want the commissioners yeah. to pass. To target. The People were doing that in Target. And then if, if the state passes any laws they don't like, then we just don't follow them. Oh. That's, that's every, yeah, yeah, that's what we do. That's what, yeah. seriously, they have. Well, that's what General McCullough likes to watch those videos of the Second Amendment people on, on YouTube. Like First Amendment, come on. First Amendment people. He likes to watch those videos of people fighting with the cops. <laughs> well, there was a video of white people. Um, they showed a white guy walking it's down the street people. with an AR-15 on his back. I yeah. Yes, I've, I've seen, seen that. that one. Cops came up and talked to him and let him go, and then yep. had a black guy do the same thing. And nope, like yeah, scary. guns drawn, get on the ground, all this stuff. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm surprised he even did that because he could have been shot. Yeah, it's scary. Yeah. Yeah. It's terrifying. Point. Two deaths. America. Yeah. I'm actually really worried about this, like, everyone can wear a mask thing. Because I'm like, ooh. You I missed my mask. I have an idea. In certain neighborhoods. But, okay, let's see how that works. I've, I've got my I mask. felt like a crazy person going into the, the farm store. A it's a convenience mask. store. <laughs> a convenience store. Yeah, I went to the farm too. store today with a bandana over my face and, like, Nitrile <laughs> gloves on. That's smart. <laughs> nice. See, Nikki, I had a mask on too. Well, you got to go find. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> like, hold up, That's hold up. All the protection you need. <laughs> right. They you weren't sold out. Perfect. I think it's blown out of proportion. <laughs> you need to keep all the virus out of your under eye. Out of my. What is good. your mask, Alice? <laughs> my eyeballs. Oh, I've got to have the plague doctor mask during She's the play. The... That on. looks much safer than the regular stuff. So. That, that looks fantastic. Awesome, awesome. Yes. And Holy no shit. one's going to come within six feet of you in the grocery store. Please <laughs> tell me you're going to the grocery store like that. I should. I really should. You really should. Yeah. Is it an actual functional mask? I mean, as far as filtering or? No. <laughs> oh. Make it one. You can Easy put enough. like a charcoal thing inside of it or those... Mm-hmm. Yeah, they have. Filters. It's just it's it a there. it's a leather costume mask. It's oh. fantastic. Fill it with thoughts and prayers. You'll be all right. There, there yeah. you go. <laughs> Has yeah. anybody yeah. seen the video of the um, interpersonal interaction the fetishists going grocery shopping? Yeah, it's amazing. Oh, there, there was a the French zip up. French one in the full latex. Oh, that's yes. a gas mask on. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I just saw that today. I was like, that is amazing. She's I love got, the people are going she's got in her costumes. Ponytail hanging out. <laughs> I'm all for costumes. Me too. Just saying. I, I have a friend that wore a hoop skirt to the grocery store a couple like last week, because it was keeping people like feet six away. feet away. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. My husband went to Costco today and wore a mask because I think just yeah. this week the governor or I don't know the CDC or the somebody said we should all be wearing cloth masks now when we go in public, but. So he wore one and the gloves to Costco, and he's like, there were a ton of older, middle-aged white guys yes. that just gave me this look like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And they were all tough mm-hmm. without their masks and touching everything. Yeah, I went to the liquor store last week because it's essential. Yeah, yes, it is and essential. Absolutely. Yeah, I mm-hmm. went to the liquor store, and there was this this older guy, and he was like, coming in front of me and I was I like took a step back and I was like I'll hold my don't worry I'll hold my breath and he was looked at me as like like whatever I'm like okay I mean I was like you know giving him space and he Amy, just came him in the face when that happened. Amy, could your breath even get that high, though? <laughs> <laughs> I am really tiny. It's true. <laughs> he's just saying that because he's like six million feet tall. I don't even know how yeah, tall he is. I'm ridiculous. Like six he's punching tall. down. That was punching down. Right? Yeah. Far from right. <laughs> he's going to hurt his back doing that. <laughs> Amy and I are in a long-distance relationship. Well, you know, well, not that funny. funny. <laughs> 
Torchy's tacos the other day, and they were actually like selling these margarita kits. And so I, I actually know. at Torchy's tacos. Like, See, whole I want to buy alcohol without yeah, to go when we can. I need to. Oh, I went to Olive Garden. They we can so order it at home here. Do you have Drizzly? <laughs> no, they we aren't Texas. We're not allowed to. It's a blue state. But right now, we're allowed to order like to go orders with food, and you can get like a drink. Yeah, yeah, I think you, you can do that in some spots in Maryland. Me. You can't do that in Texas. Maryland didn't. Look- Amy, we have Drizzly here. Liquor stores have their own. They yes. used to be gone. Are they back? They were gone. Yes. They can deliver uh, it. Now- they can not deliver liquor, though. That's all I want. Yes, they can. Yes, they can. Texas, you, you can, can deliver liquor. You can do whatever the fuck you want in Texas. They There's can no rules there. They can deliver a gun, not liquor. <laughs> they, lessen, they lessen the laws probably, what was it, about two years ago. That's when I was looking for liquor. Well, if you, you have a gun, you can deliver it. whatever you want. That's so. true. You can just take whatever you want. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what everybody's saying. They're like, I don't need to stock up on anything. I have a gun. I'm like, really? If everybody has a gun, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the exact <laughs> opposite you of your that, argument. Uh, movie from exactly. The 80s what is it? Have you seen that movie from the 80s called Tremors? Yes, it's the best oh. movie ever. It makes me want to want to eat tomato soup. <laughs> You'll get it if you see it. I know. <laughs> it's been years since I've seen it, so I don't get it. It's oh. disgusting. I'm disgusting. It's okay. Well, there's like, oh, this one character, they're called Bert, and he has like, he's like the ultimate gun nut. And yes. so these like monsters like come into his rec room, and then he, he's just like going to the wall and like, like just shooting the, yes. the monsters. And then at the, at the end, when they kill the monster, it's like, you broke into the goddamn rec room, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that forever. Yeah, I used to watch it when I was a kid, and I always wanted tomato soup afterwards every time. I think that's what they used for the guts, didn't they? I? I don't know. I just remember when that one came out and splashed into the cliff. I was like, now I'm hungry every time. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, I'm feeling like a grilled cheese sandwich and see and some tomato soup. That's delicious. <laughs> yeah, that's but only that's my. Comfort you cannot food. make canned tomato soup with milk nobody does that right no you make it with milk and then you no. put drops of butter in it and then you add cheese oh. what? i'm with alliteration yeah. amy on this one. i was raised no, no, no. by monsters my mom hates that joke can okay, tomato amy, soup with water That's my it. husband course, i was right? sick one time and i asked him to make me a can of tomato soup he literally cooked it without adding anything to it and tried to serve it <laughs> <laughs> and then tried to convince me that that's how normal people eat it, and that he had been eating it that way. And I was what like, "What did he put in it? This is hot ketchup. Nothing. It was no. just a soup can. <laughs> did his mom used to make it, it that way, or something? Just with water? Just no, nothing. No, no water. No, no water. No. Pour it in like the plop. Just <laughs> yes. I was like, "This is hot ketchup. You have Some... not eaten soup like this. You have lost your mind." I've had someone make mm. ravioli like that for me once. <laughs> it was like it was just the tomato soup over pasta oh god oh god <laughs> oh god they threw some basil in and i'm like that's not <laughs> we're both like the horror oh god damn it that's disgusting my husband's mom always made chili with tomato with like tomato soup campbell's tomato no, soup she'd get thrown and out then the put state. the stuff in it and it, sh- it makes me ew. just it's thinking gross. about that makes me sick i can't even you know what's actually really good is tomato soup ramen that sounds so, good disagree that doesn't sound good it's so good though yeah. you make the tomato soup per instructions mm-hmm. you put garlic <laughs> and black pepper in it and then you put ramen in it and then you put cheese on top that sounds really good that does sound this good. This is a secular soup podcast. This is an appropriate conversation for this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's on, yeah. It's on top. We're on brand right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's. <laughs> what do you have? Where are you? What are you doing? I don't even know. Why do I live with him? <laughs> Get him the fuck out. He's dead weight. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Is that like super hot ramen? Yeah, it's real hot. It's like Heck Korean boom. ramen. I mean, it's, it's definitely Korean. Yeah, it's, it's got really, Korean really on really it. Hot. I was trying to read it. <laughs> Do you want to read it? He can hold it still if he actually holds. It. I yeah. can't even. I don't even recognize what room he's in. And we got. <laughs> don't Heck you only have like two duck. rooms? Oh, it's chicken. Three. Chicken ramen. 
I actually don't have to it's spicy chicken ramen. It's delicious. It's like three times hot or something. Nice. Doc is it. chicken. I want to see it. Delicious. <laughs> no. Oh. Who wants to see it? Oh, that's <laughs> oh, my shit. Shit. That's, that's my shit. super spicy. Yeah. That's my jam, right? Now. Yeah. We went to a H Mart. We went to the the Korean market because I, I figured. H-Mart. You know, it's so good. <laughs> well, I figured that everybody that was buying all of the toilet paper were racist, probably, and. H Mart we was stopped right. out. We were right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we had meat. We had market. toilet paper. They had cleaning products. They were... Yeah, we were right. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good bet in America. I mean... uh, in Texas, too. I'm like, uh, everybody yeah, buying here. all the toilet paper in Prosper, Texas, mm-hmm. are racist. So I'm going Alliter- to H Mart. Alliteration, Amy. Um, what did you think about when they said Utah is. Um, like buying more than any other state Doesn't right now. Doesn't surprise me. They, are, they Actually, should already have it, though. Yeah, that's the thing. They should yeah. already have it. They didn't. So now Terrible they're like, mormons. oh, everything's coming. Let me get my year's worth of supplies. Yeah, aren't <laughs> I mean, they all preppers? Yeah, they should they're be. They're supposed to be. Buy, buy the... Uh, hmm. Well, they all well, have a year's supply. They need to be ready food. for their own planets. So Let me show you a picture that my, my other ex-Mormon friend sent me today. Yeah, isn't it also kind of the same? Couponers that have everything. I don't know. There should be. We still have emergency backup supplies from Amy being a Mormon. (laughs) Yeah, we do. Okay, so I have this picture of this. It says, um, exercising our right to assemble in defiance of unconstitutional demands, dining in public at the restaurant of our choice, freedom is never negotiable. This is Mormons. I don't know if you can see it. Ah, you can't see it. They're at a church. That's glary. So they're Too basically, there's just those but they tent. Close most of the churches. Uh, but they're in the parking lot with those covers out, and it's like 50 people gathered. <laughs> they don't care. They don't well, care. They, they also met the uh, missionaries at the airport. I saw that. So gross. Yeah, I can pretty much guarantee the people. Korean Presbyterian <laughs> church up the street is not meeting tomorrow because. You know, oh, yeah. it's cool. <laughs> Churches are essential here in Texas. Don't they worry. Are. They yeah, this essential. is Maryland, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And our Republican governor said this shit. So, so are people still going to churches they, and not I doing? Don't, they're not here, but they probably will be soon. In like the Florida, only church I know about, around. she's doing online yeah. service. You know, like a Skype service, but that's what i was gonna say i have a few friends that are yeah. church people that are doing it yeah. step away for just a second i'll be right back sure you will if it's like easter like the churches don't is like come back big, like, Luna, I mean, <laughs> whatever it's like money drawer i mean rich don't you mm-hmm. yeah yeah easter is a big deal for where well, yeah, is well, like... right is that Nicole? I'm sorry. I have to look at who I'm talking to. Sorry. Right, yeah. Hi. I was going to say that that's why like the pastors have been wanting like uh, like the uh, restrictions lifted so they can have Easter services because that's like their big money draw. That is right. uh, Easter is your money day. That is absolutely true. And that's cool. exactly what the churches want. They want their money. We have uh, PayPal now, right? Yeah. Cash yeah. up them. PayPal you that know, shit. Venmo it. Yeah, but they can't. I think the like, Catholic Church is working on some. <laughs> they can't the cool um, give you as much Come on. guilt if they can't look you in the That's eye. That's true. <laughs> you gotta love Catholic <laughs> guilt. Mm-hmm. Or Jewish guilt. Oh, that's it's so just like, oh, if, if everyone else is putting money in, the, in my family, in the lot, I better too. <laughs> but if no one sees you, then <laughs> what's the point? I work okay. So I one. Uh, so my job is we work for nonprofits, and three of my clients is the American Bible Society, the uh, IFCJ, which is the International Fellowship for Christians and Jews, and Los Angeles Mission. Nope. <laughs> I have to like create their fundraising materials. Ew. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So it's like, to- like okay. I used to work at FBB fundraising, so that's good. I have to make this like buy like this Bible a month thing for the American Bible Society, and it's all about sending Bibles to our church overseas and like giving them hope and all this other stuff. And it's like, oh, they spend more money on chips. It doesn't matter, like Mm -hmm. Bibles to people. Like, aren't those free most places? 
Well, the, they cost money to print, so. <laughs> well, but. <laughs> no, see, so you have to get the really fancy ones that are engraved and have that are leather bound with your name on them. And I've are been we're to talking Bible about stores. scriptures. I have those. Yeah. <laughs> we're oh, talking was, about I'm buying talking Bibles. Oh, okay, I, I had the Mormon Bibles, which are more real. Well, we're really <laughs> talking about the selling of Bibles. Sure. Of I have a Book of Mormon here. My teacher tells to me. Ugh. I'm not doing <laughs> the next one. And if this. <clears throat> No, uh, you mean the next like, one's the racist one. Where it's like super racist? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's All okay. About the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where it does like the. Yeah. No, my favorite one was always follow the prophet. When you it's like, met me, it remember like how I was working for that Christian magazine? Yeah, I do. Okay, so my job now is I work for an ad agency that only works with nonprofits, and three of our clients is the American Bible Society, LA Mission, and the International Fellowship for Christian uh, Christians and Jews. And I create the fundraising materials. Well, I have Christian Jews or so Christian I, Jews. Is that only completed Jews? <laughs> Messianic <laughs> Jews? What? So it's like ones that are like being ex, like uh, or like it's like elderly Jews and like Israel and Ukraine that need to be split to Israel. Well, I have I have a friend. She's in FOF, but I have a friend that works for Glenn Beck. Like literally, oh, oh, works for Glenn Beck. Mormon, ex Mormon. Yeah, no, she's an ex Mormon. But... No, I'm talking about Glenn Beck. Oh, I know, I know. They love him. They love him. <laughs> Uh, speaking of fundraising, Foundation Beyond Belief is about to do a fundraiser uh, for PPE for hospitals um, oh, good. and cool. areas in need. So, cool. You hear that in the chat, you guys? I see it, GC. Watching. <laughs> I see the chat. Go, go, donate, folks. So I have, I have the issue of. Um, Catholic Review from January. Nice. Who knows? Yeah, I get them is. because I went to I went to Catholic high school, and it is everything you would expect <laughs> it to be. Is that a frog centered? What is that? Amy, is that a frog? This frog will change your life. I want that this frog. frog will change your life. Has anybody seen the Book of Mormon? No. 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 Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I have. I've seen it. Oh, like the frog that Joseph Smith fucked. Yes, it's the fuck frog. <laughs> I bought this. This was merch from the the tour when it came through Minneapolis. I, I, I have, cherish it. Don't ruin it for me. I've never seen it. Oh, it's amazing. It's filthy. You need to watch it. It's amazing. It's I know. Filthy. Oh my gosh, that soundtrack is one of the best things. I oh yeah, remember. they have an entire number dedicated to coffee. I love it. Yes. <laughs> I love that they basically cure AIDS with frogs. They just fuck frogs. So they actually have these things called fuck frogs, and you can buy them at the merch table. (laughs) Hey, everybody. I'm going to get going because my phone is hot, and I need to order pizza. That's a good idea. (laughs) Take care. It's lovely to see you. Nice to meet you. you. Bye. Good Good to meet everyone. Say bye bye to your person. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Now, how the fuck do I hang up? <laughs> you can just leave me. <laughs> it says leave meeting at the bottom right. Oh, she oh, figured it out. Figured it she out. figured it out. <laughs> She's got it. We're good. How okay. have you still not heard the Book of Mormon soundtrack? I've heard the soundtrack. I've just never seen it. Oh. Yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> TGIA pointed out like the what they say about the Mormons is perfectly fine, but the way they portray the Uga- Ugandans is kind mm. of problematic. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh. I think so. Here's here's my problem with the assessment of that is that I think that that's completely on purpose because of Mormon views, on- right? Because they're saving; they're this, they're white saviors. Yeah, exactly. So how yeah. do you treat that material respectfully while still accurately portraying a very very racist set of beliefs? Yeah. I am not going to weigh in on that because I don't have the lived experience to do so. So yeah, okay. I'm going to ask someone. That's when I. That's <laughs> when I weigh in on everything. <laughs> How are they portrayed? Like, what is? Did they do like blackface? 
Oh no, they're they're no. played by uh, black actors, and it's actually one of the few um, Broadway musicals that has a mostly black cast. I say it's a primarily black cast. Yeah, but That's um, cool. at the same time, um, they talk about raping babies to cure AIDS and how everyone has AIDS and. Uh, just like all these really bad stereotypes about people in Africa. Yeah. Oh. Well, and I think that the the over the top kind of treatment of that material is, mm-hmm. I think it's, that's South Park. Yeah, it is say, very much very, South Park, but South Park. that doesn't mean it's like progressive. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, not at all. <laughs> yeah. No. No, I wouldn't expect them to be very progressive. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> no. they just kind of take. Well, the- they won Tonys with that. Um, musical. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, the music which great. made which made the Mormon Church so mad. They were uh, like, actually they put. Uh, I know they put things in the playbills, yeah. but that was after they were mad about it. They were mad first, and then they. Decided, I think they were still mad about it when they put oh, the ads yeah. in, but. And then they decided like, to like. You mark saw it the play. It. Now read the book. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Send missionaries to be outside after people were getting out. A lot of those people weren't missionaries. They were actually just. Because- ex-mormons with their missionary tags on yeah <laughs> people yeah. show up wearing their missionary tags to go to the whole show crazy <laughs> I, i'm one of the, the few women who used to have a mormon priesthood <laughs> <laughs> i was i was given the priesthood by my friend who got the priesthood for the temple mm-hmm. so we went to what? this women's women's retreat cabin and she gave the priesthood to all of us so there are like you can just give it to people. Well, she laid her hands on our head, and mm-hmm. she gave us the priesthood. Yes, that's so like you could give works. it to me. She, yeah, yeah. It's like she did STD. the right magic. Spell. She did the right magic spell because in the temple, <laughs> it is the only but place but women she's can not have supposed the to be allowed to have that. So yeah, but in the priest in the temple is the only place women have the priesthood because they do the endowment sessions. So well, she. But they don't have it when they leave the temple, though. They can't, like, give patriarchal blessings or anything. No, no, but she she gave away the secret power a little bit. There you go. (laughs) Well, don't you have a Mormon name that you're not supposed to share with anybody else? Yeah, the same one that everyone else who goes to that temple that day gets. Yeah, it's on the same day. Mine was Martha. And everyone else at that temple that day was Martha. (laughs) I don't even remember the day, actually, because I was sealed later. I was pregnant and my baby was eight and a half months along. And so I figured I should have get real sealed in the temple. So my baby was born under the covenant. (laughs) Speaking of guess what this weekend is, Amy. What's general conference. It's general conference. I need to wait. Are all those people going to be? No, no, they they're tele viewing. Oh, thank God. Yeah. I've Normally been to they it. have I don't a it. huge amount of people there. But I've like, been nope. to it live, though. That was fun. Yeah. I fell asleep. I totally fell asleep. <laughs> general Mormon General Conference. It's nine hours. It's ridiculous. I only know what it is because of Amy and because of Big Love on it's HBO. two days and it's like hours. <laughs> all day hours. Saturday, all day Sunday. Don't they do it twice a year? Yeah. Yes. In October and, and April. Ugh. Sounds horrible. I watched Big Love once, but that was a long time ago. It's a yeah, great, watched it's a it great it show. I, I watched to finish love. watching it. Yeah, it's great. Isn't Bill Paxton dead? Yep. He yes. dies yes. at the end. No, but he died in real life, too. I know. Yes. <laughs> after he did the show, though. Yes. Yeah, but he, he died, died on the show a long first, time after the then show. Then he died in real life. And his yeah. wives were besides them, beside themselves. <laughs> they were better off, honestly. They oh, were, yeah, he was an They were going to be fine. He was dead weight. God, he yeah. was the worst. I used to think he would have a heart attack all the time because he was just always yelling. And running. Like, He's coming out of his forehead. It's like, Bill, <laughs> calm down. I saw like the first season and then my ex got really upset with the show and we couldn't watch it anymore. So. <laughs> go back. And I just and haven't it. gone back. Yeah, I need yeah. to go back. Mm. You should. I wish the main character in Mad Men would have died. I haven't watched right? that yet. I need to watch that. <laughs> He's the devil. Yeah, he was an ass. Of it. No, yeah. 
He Don is, Draper I, was an ass. Don Draper was the devil. That's my whole he theory. Like, go back I, and rewatch think, it. That's a I fan that, theory. It's not but, just yes, yours. They, yeah, they set it up where if you rewatch it, there's so many clues that he's the literal devil. He's literally the devil. Yeah, yeah. well, what, whenever I, uh, what was brilliant about that show is that he's a perfect embodiment of toxic masculinity. So that oh, yeah. whenever, whenever anybody talks about toxic masculinity, mm-hmm. that's the Don Draper is the image I immediately mm-hmm. bring to mind. I got bit, I caught bits and pieces of it when you a roommate was watching there, it, no? and I really liked it. But when I tried to watch it myself, I just couldn't get past the first few episodes. Yeah. 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 I mean, John Hamm's really hot, so that kept That's me. That's how you get through all your shows. I can't do that. He's a saint. He was on Black Mirror. I haven't I watched that he either. Yeah, Black yeah, he was on the Christmas the episode Mirrors. of season two. He was really good in that. He was also- I didn't see that one. He was also in um, Diaries of a Young Doctor and with, with Harry movie. Potter. I saw that too. Wasn't that on Netflix? Oh, good, yeah. It took place in yeah. Russia. It was oh, really yeah. good. Yeah. And they only did like one season and there were six episodes or something. Did they do two? It's total, yeah. That's a good show. I wonder if it's still on poor Netflix. Netflix. Dude, poor Harry Potter. He's going to be that forever. Like nobody's yeah. ever going to call him he is, He has a name. He made a fortune. Harry Potter. He can Don't... live with it. <laughs> That that yeah, God, Daniel Ratcliffe. The God I, I Show am. was good. What was that one? What was that one called? Yeah, God, I'm so asking many of them. you. Good Omen. American God, God friended me. Yeah. No, no, not, no, no, no. The one where they answer like prayers. Steve Buscemi's God. Steve Buscemi is God. What was oh, that one? I remember. That one was so funny. I the couldn't first get season. into that one. Just the first season. The second season was hard to watch. Preacher? I watched like two episodes and no. then just like that's eh. a comic book show. I know. Oh, I it was on Preacher. FX or something. That one's good. Preacher's I like, good. I, I liked Preacher. Just finished Pretty sure it was Small Miracles. I've only watched miracle. two seasons of it, though. That's it. It's Small it Miracles. That's it. Oh. Okay. Where, they're, where they're like, they're they're going past all the hard prayers, like saving people from cancer and stuff, and they're like finding someone's glove or their keys. Like all the little things. Right, but the guy you know, who like God does. Like, he was like a serial God. killer or something. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. I, all right, who who watched the the, the Good Place? Because I love that show. That I was love amazing. that show. Oh, yeah. That was great. I, that. I haven't seen the last season yet. Yeah. I gotta watch. No spoilers. <laughs> I've watched the good. first season and then I just never got that back to. Which show is that? The Good Place. Good. The Good Place. Oh, I no, think no, the no, ending no. was good. I liked it. What? You're looking for something good to watch right now? By Dallas, the ending. Miracle Workers. Uh, good miracle yeah, orders. We Thank have you. some people who haven't seen the last season, so no that's spoilers. it. It's I haven't mir- either. It's miracle workers. Thank miracle you. workers. I know because I looked it, it up. It has like Harry Potter in it, right? Yeah, it's yeah, yes. it's Harry Potter and Steve Buscemi. Mm-hmm. Well, Harry long, Potter and the guy from Fargo. Rowling from the wind has nothing to do with and it. And the guy from Fargo, the wind chipper guy from Fargo. What is Fargo? It's a great movie. Don't watch and the show. And TV series. Oh. <laughs> either. Oh, oh God. <laughs> do a podcast don't about the TV words. series. Don't, don't podcast about the TV series. You should do a, a podcast about the movie. Just the movie. With somebody else. It. I saw it like 10 years ago. I'm sure I have. Like you and Devin get together and just do a podcast about we the should. movie. Devin and I should talk about it and say that it's superior. <laughs> that would be fantastic. I would, I would so get into that. Are we still doing Phyllis Schlafly? What, what? Phyllis Schlafly. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, that sounds good. I'm so excited now. You reminded me. <laughs> when is that coming what? out? That's not out yet, is it? Crazy bitch. We're going to no, record. April 15th, remember? Tax day. <laughs> That's April 15th. Right. It's and a- it should definitely be on Hulu because it's FX on Hulu, that whole thing. Okay. Yes, we're going to do a review of the movie about Phyllis Schlafly. Ooh, I want to watch it. Can I review it? You already agreed to do it, bitch. Oh, good. <laughs> I just forgot. I have to watch it then. Okay. Like, I was drunk at the time. Okay, I'm always wait. drunk. <laughs> Who wants to do a podcast with me? Nobody. Hey, no, I'll do a podcast with you, but you have to write it and edit it. Thank you. Oh. That's what we do. He has to learn write how to it. write and they edit don't write. now. <laughs> I was going to say, the whole Reddit thread on your Don Draper is the devil yeah. thing. Nice. You have delightful personalities. That's why we don't need to write. But you would probably have to write something. So. <laughs> the, I, I always have to write something. Yeah. I, I don't write anything. Charming. You are charming. If we had to write, if, if I If you were here, I'd pat your head, too. So much work. <laughs> if, I, 
That makes I, it believable. If I didn't write, there would be more awkward pauses and ums. Than yeah, but your content. show is quality. Like you make yeah, quality like content like that, <laughs> Very high that you can follow and pay attention to. And we're like, just basically it's our nonsense. phone calls. Yeah. Uh, some people, but my problem is mine is way too cerebral. Like whereas I enjoy it. Yeah, but that's good. Like you whereas, actually learn something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whereas yours is easier to follow because you're just a couple. <laughs> We're, friends, we're real like, simple shoot, and basic. Shooting the shit. Small lady brains. Exactly. I just want to show, show you though. all something. <laughs> I think I you can show actually... you all the babies that I've abandoned to hang out oh, with you, and then I'm going to go. But... Baby cows. Oh. I think you can kind of see them. They already got kind of bored oh. of me. Is there still Standing sunshine here. outside? I yeah. mean, like, barely. There's barely any sunshine. Is it light out here too? I don't know. It's been dark here. No, no it's dark. Well, because oh, it's, it's been raining. Here. It's been raining today, and it's cold outside. There's this one too. Oh. Anyway, but now I have to go and actually milk the cows. So it was fun. Bye. It was good talking to you. Bye. Nice to see you, girl. Keep in touch. <laughs> I love them. Del's so cool. Del's cool. Del is amazing. Yeah. Agreed. Oh, I know what I was going to I got this awesome vintage hat that's very Downton Abbey. <laughs> I love oh, that's Downton cute. Abbey. It's been sitting here and I've never actually tried it on. So it on. I can see myself now, so I'm going to try it on. <laughs> Take your crown off. Yep. <laughs> I had to put my crown back on because it fell off when I was got up. I got up. Ooh. That's very cute. Oh, yeah, that was your crown tip. It's hard with the I glasses. So. You got to put your hair down, though. Yeah. You need a bob. I want to do a gentleman Jack cosplay. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I tried to watch that show and I could not get into it. Oh, I love that show. I wanted to like it and I just... Which one? Gentleman, gentleman Jack. Jack. It's you based on a true it. story. Yeah, the story's fascinating. Where, what is it on? It lesbian in Victoria HBO. HBO. Oh, I can, I can watch that. It was a lesbian in Victorian times and how she went about it, um, being a strong personality in her time in uh, England, I believe, upstate. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and took charge of the family estate and owned mm -hmm. it Fantastic. and was just not hiding, that like, to my list. wore a full suit and top hat and... Yeah, but we I got, don't. We got all the channels. I we have all the yeah. He works for he works for freaking Charter. So oh, oh nice. Oh, shit. Do you not like period pieces usually, or I love just, period I love pieces. period pieces. Yeah, I it? love them. I thought I was gonna love the show. Amy, and I, what's that one with the guy? What was the problem? Po po dark. Paul Dark. Oh, oh, wow. oh, I love Paul Dark. That guy is so hot. I don't care oh, yeah. what he's yeah, in. I have a <laughs> that guy's dreamy as hell. And she is fucking one? beautiful too. Yes. Like, yeah. Oh my god. But their meat, their meat cute is terrible. I hated yeah. their meat it's cute. Awful. It's awful. awful. I but hated when he cheated show. on her. Yes. I, I wanted to punch him in the face. I'm like that show. show. That show just. It's PBS. It's so. Crazy. I did not realize there was a part of England like that. Like, Whale. Like, oh no, it's Cornwall. Yeah, it's yeah. Cornwall. That's where um Cornwall, yeah. Southern England, yeah. Isn't that where um Doc Martin is from or is in takes place too? I don't know. I don't watch that one. That one's I hilarious. Like, like it. No, Doc Doc Martin is basically monk in England. Oh, okay. sort of. Like he's an asshole okay. doctor in England. You know what else was in Cornwall? Did you see that movie about time? Yes, we just, we just watched, watched it. We just watched it. That's <laughs> what well, we said it at the same time because we watched it together. <laughs> I lived in England for four years. Oh, England's amazing. Right? I know. That's where I want to quarantine, not Texas. I was Same. I was in a small town called Lincoln, and Aww. like it's a it's technically a city, but there's like 120 thousand people total. Um, but it has a university and a cathedral, so they said oh, it has nice. to be a city. And like that's the rule. The cathedral was way up on the hill, and there's a castle beside it that is dwarfed by the size of the cathedral. And it's freaking amazing to look at. And it's just like I walk outside my flat, and it's like, oh look, there's the cathedral. It's beautiful. Um, no. I went to England one like, time. Well, why would I've never been the same? Soon. People looked yeah, at me and right. said, why would you come to Lincoln if you're coming this to the UK? This is never ending. It's like, well, 
What? I'll shut up. What part of England was it? No, in? not you. The quarantine <laughs> is never in danger. No. <laughs> no. Not Alice. Is never <laughs> I'm, I'm in a very morose mood. She's where such nothing, a bitch. <laughs> the quarantine is never ending. This is our real life now. Mm. It's in the East Midlands in a county called Lincolnshire. Okay. Yeah. I, I love, I love that, that, that everything is, is sure. Like, mm-hmm. I love but, that. Um, people ask me why I was in Lincoln. I was like, A, this is where the military sent me, but B, it's a beautiful city. There, I could walk up and down the high street, which is what they call main streets. Like I could walk up and down the high street and see buildings older than my country. So yeah, it's my nice. rich. Like they had 11th century buildings on the road on the main road there, and it's just. See if Amy was following out. chat, she'd see that Rich was leaving. I just did. That's why I said bye, bye Rich. Did he say his goodbye? I didn't even hear him say goodbye. He, he just put it in the chat. Oh, he He's testing Amy. Uh, the one thing I read in the chat because it popped up in orange somehow. So <laughs> interesting. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. With Gentleman Jack, it was like I couldn't. I I don't know. It, I don't know if it was too slow or I just couldn't get into the characters or I don't know I've gotten worse as I get older about my patience like if it doesn't draw me in 10 minutes that's how I was about the experience there's so much content out there (laughs) I tried really really hard well it was great for us lesbians okay (laughs) oh I'm sure it was a great I just couldn't I couldn't get into it I heard so many good things everybody loved the expanse and I just the first two I never even tried that one Everyone said if you like Game Never of Thrones, you would like the expansion. Oh, yeah. That's uh, what I heard, what? too. It's the- like Game of Thrones in space. I haven't seen that. Yeah, I've never heard of, heard of this one. We tried. We watched the first two episodes, like, and then we watched What's the first two. What's it on? Two- um, Amazon. It's on Amazon. Oh, oh I don't have Amazon, Amazon Prime. Prime. I but if you, would think if about you have Amazon, just Amazon. watch Mrs. Maisel. That's, you know. Yes. Want to. Don't have it. Spend your time watching Mrs. Maisel. Or Good Omen. What's up? Or good but omens, omens is, awesome. is so good. Very good. Did you hear about that fight? Which one? Stupid Christians. Oh, I don't care about Christians. I they wrote Netflix complaining about the good omens and asking them to take it down when it's oh, and it was on Amazon. <laughs> so then Amazon was like, oh yeah, and we'll cancel such and such show that was on Netflix. Yeah, yeah. we'll cancel Stranger Things. Hilarious. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's what it was. It was hilarious. You know, when you work in the media, you get that kind of call all the time. I get all the time. I work at one news station, and there are three others in the market, so you, you get the call all the time. Well, you said on the news. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. <laughs> what news we will find. Fire that weatherman. Don't worry about it. Yes, who are you talking about? It's yeah, I understand that call. Oh my god. People, yeah, that was people, hilarious though. People think the media is uh one like a big conglomerate. No, they actually conglomerate. thought it was on Netflix. They didn't realize yeah. it was on Amazon. So crazy. Because Netflix is everything. No. Well, yeah, everything it's on Netflix. all Netflix. It's if it's, like, if it's, it's streaming, like it's Netflix. <laughs> Netflix is like Kleenex now. Right. Yeah. Or, Hulu know. is Netflix. Amazon like Prime Thermos. is Netflix. Yeah, it's like everybody Disney says Plus Kleenex. Yes. Everybody says Le- oh, Levi's. There you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, see that, you see that meme uh, that was talking about how Dis- Disney's starting to own everything. So 15 years from now, we'll see Disney, Paramount, Netflix, Hulu, <laughs> all <in> one logo. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just be Disney. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's yeah, funny that... Horsemen, they did a really good, like... Is that good? I love Bojack Horseman. Should, I is that what we should watch during the quarantine? I yeah. would give it a try, but okay. be careful because it's not like one of those. It's very, it's it's very much like Rick and Morty, where like you're laughing, you're laughing, and then all of a sudden you're I like existential crisis. Freaking love Rick and Morty though. I love. I've never Rick seen and Morty. that either. I've got so much I need to watch. I haven't been you able have to I love it. get into Rick and Morty, <laughs> and that's what we're doing is we're watching really? stuff. By Just the way, because of the fan base. Yeah, I've never even tried Rick and Morty because I don't yeah. like cartoons. Uh, I, I, I'm with you there. I'm a grown I do, up. I, 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 I You're wrong, them. Amy. Normally, but unpopular <laughs> opinion: Squidbillies is better than Rick and Morty. Is it, I is like Squidbillies. That's actually. <laughs> <funny. laughs> squid I enjoy Squidbillies. Don't even know what it is. Too much. Okay. It's hillbillies is, that are squid. What is that on? Yeah. Adult Carter Swim, I think. Yeah. Cartoon okay. Network, Adult Swim. So I okay. could find it on like direct or the. What is yeah. I would think like Comedy on Central cable. app. Or, like the app. Yeah, I think it's Comedy Central. Okay. Yeah, and they're short, aren't they? Like fifteen okay. minutes or something. Mm-hmm. What was that one with like the meatball? 
Oh, uh, oh, 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 that one was funny. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> like, oh, we are the and and then the the one with like the Carl, space though. the space people. Yeah, it was gross. The the one with like the space <laughs> people, like twenty 2020 twenty or twenty twenty one. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, space um, C lab, yeah. C-Lab. space C lab twenty twenty. Because there's there's this episode that I've watched like four times where the the vending machine falls on the guy yeah. and the scorpions. Yes, <laughs> I remember that one. That's the only scene I remember. The best <laughs> one ever. <laughs> I remember. Apparently, that like, a ridiculous number of people get killed by vending machines falling on them. Let me. Look I would believe that. it because they shake them. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I, shake them all the time at I had I had food delivered to me. <laughs> of course you did. Yeah, I did. I almost died on a ladder today. I decided what? to move everything around in my house because why would you do that? Because why, why would, would I not? Because I've been sitting here for two weeks. But I'm like, I'm not that picture there, and I'm going to move that there. And so we have this really tall spot in the living room. And I was like teetering on the ladder trying to get something, and my husband's like, "What the fuck are you doing? Are you trying to kill your?" Like, it's going to be fine. I can balance. It's totally cool. On my tiptoes on and a you, chair. Trip. And you slid? And I didn't fall out of sheer spite because I knew I'd never hear the end of it. So, so Vending machines like, kill I am two not to four people myself. in the U.S. every year. Oh, my God. Like how many? <laughs> two to two four. Two to four. How do they determine wow. that two, two, four, but no three? Yeah. There's also a percentage. Two dash four, not <laughs> between two and four. <laughs> so three is included. But that's three. But that should be a definite number. <laughs> yeah. You should know how many people are killed by a vending machine. Well, not well, if it you, changes some from year to year. Killed. It varies from year to year, guys. So some people may rage. not have been killed by the vending machine itself. It may have been part of the process of them dying. <laughs> so they died yep. from complications two weeks later. Yes. Or they had a heart attack from being scared by seeing someone else die from the vending machine. <laughs> <laughs> the vending machine just sent them. Or Guido tags. just smushed them under a vending machine. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> What's the? Uh, I read there was a percentage of people every year who die from cows. Uh, I can't oh, remember. Oh, Dell already more left. More than vending machines. Should have asked Dell. She'd know. Yeah. Exactly. They left. <laughs> Farming accidents are... Yeah. Hippos oh kill more people than bears. Mm-hmm. That's what I kill it. tons of people. Hippos? Mm-hmm. Hippos. They're Where very territorial. They're super mean. Yeah, they chase you. Wow. I thought they just... I didn't think they even... I thought they eat marbles. People. No, they're super mean. Yeah, they do. <laughs> but, then, but, then they chase, but they chase people. <laughs> That's not like that whole game was about their marble divorce. They do, but yeah. they chase they hurt people. They chase people just to for fun, like cats. Yeah, I think that'd be funny to watch because I'm terrible. <laughs> I want to watch someone <laughs> running from a hippo. They might <laughs> chase people because they're territorial. Yes, or like they uh, hippo like, and they out. also trample people's farming, like they're. I feel like Joe Exotic needs to get fun. some hippos. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> just he's saying. in prison, Amy. He's okay, Carol prison. Baskin needs. Yeah, to I hear hippos. he's in prison, and I don't know why, and I don't care because I, I refuse to watch reality TV. That's I, why you you got to watch fine. eight episodes to figure it out. It's only seven. Mm-hmm. You're fine. Oh, no, that's right. there's it is a, only seven. no, there's there's going to be an eighth episode. Yay! What? So exciting. Yeah. Like Netflix a reunion is, tour. My friend Amy <laughs> just tagged me in a post saying that they're no. going to make an eighth one. You have oh other friends God. named Amy. Apparently, he has his oh, own yeah. Facebook page. Amy I White. Guess. Whatever. <laughs> my, my third, my third favorite Amy. Is it spelled correctly at least? <laughs> I, what, yeah. I, know, I, I just need to know his, the order. <laughs> his Facebook page apparently started Sorry. before he went to prison, but at the prison he's in, he gets limited internet access. So yeah, I met him. That's probably the first place he goes when he gets on the internet. <laughs> There's a, there's a, uh, Joe Exotic did an interview with somebody where they asked him, because I guess a bunch of studios are uh, bidding for rights to make a Joe movie. Exotic movie. And, They're trying to, oh yeah, Amy sent me a thing with oh David God. Spade. They said David Spade yeah. should play him. But you, they, uh, oh, well, yeah. they, they, asked, they asked Joe Exotic himself who he wanted to play him, and he said Joe Dirt. And no, it's just, just David Spade. Spade. Yeah, David yeah. Spade. He didn't say David Spade. He just said Joe just Dirt, Joe Dirt or, Bra- yeah. or Brad Pitt. Or Brad Pitt. <laughs> Obviously. That is a very Joe Exotic thing to say. Yeah. I think I can love that man so much. He's the yeah. On one hand, he seems so with it, 
and like here in the real world with you and then he says some shit like that and you're just like he just yeah if you go on youtube david spade does, did a whole series where he interviews a bunch of the different people from tiger yeah. king and these like little 15 minute interviews they're fantastic too go we watch, watch. i Saf. just came across it on youtube what? like the algorithm pulled it up he interviews Saf. Mm -hmm. he interviewed john Who's the best person first like, husband honestly Saf is like the most level-headed yeah Saf person. was the best person on the show. Yeah. She was the like, most normal one. And, and the other guard there, the other like trainer guy with the long yes. hair that was living yeah. in the Ooh, trailer. Okay. Eric. Am I Eric. am I wrong? That guy looked like he belonged on like a Wayne's World movie. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did. Totally. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't get interviewed, but he interviews the other the yeah. producer. Well that guy. guy was a he was a mess at the end. See, yeah. I'm blanking I'm blanking on two things. What was the name of Joe's second husband? Um, Travis. 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 Or John? Or Travis. Travis. John's the oh, first Travis. one. The young then kid. Travis. Travis. No. Was, yeah. And then the actor who plays in uh, Star Wars and Marriage Story. Uh, um, oh, Adam Driver? Driver. <laughs> yeah, Adam Driver. Ooh, he would actually do that really well. Yeah, I could <laughs> see that. Did Adam you see Driver. Adam Driver's monologue on Saturday Night Live? Yes. No. Yes. I want to know if that was true <laughs> or if it was just a joke. I don't know. Okay, but can we just see more of Adam Driver wet? It's... <laughs> <laughs> I loved the see undercover boss wet? with, uh, he wants to see Adam Driver wet, apparently. Like more of it in Star Wars when he's wet? Even uh, more, I, I, I thought everybody wanted to see Jason Momoa wet. Uh, no. Jason wet the whole oh, wet, yeah. He's really wet, too. I mean, I'm the only he was underwater for most, most of the movie. <laughs> no, I, I prefer Adam Driver, actually. Yeah, can see, so would I. Can we see Jason Momoa and Adam Driver banging? <laughs> Jason Momoa's <laughs> weird. Oh, I'd buy can, that ticket. Can you mute him? Is it possible to Hold just... Hold on. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, it's right, though. I'm on his side. I'm with the man. It's all right. Got it. <laughs> He's muted. Yeah. It turns out it's surprisingly <laughs> easy. <laughs> yeah. See, look I at this. understand. I... Oh, because you're, you're, yeah. oh, oh you're my God. God. You got it. I'm you still wondering how the cold changed oh, the background. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if you can do it on the computer one or if it's just on the phone. Oh. Yeah, my computer said it wouldn't do it. My computer said it's I did not it compatible. on the phone. Yeah, when I, I was on the phone, it worked. I can't computer but... or my phone. But my computer is like, it's new. I don't understand. Yeah, well, I don't know. Mine's new, Zoom. but it's a Mac. I don't, I don't know. Mac. I don't know mine's an is... HP. It doesn't matter. Mine's a Mac. Am I still muted? Yeah, mine's a no, MacBook. No, you're not muted. No. You're fine. Do it. It had nothing. <laughs> you're doing Northern Lights right now. So. Now you are. Yeah. That's yeah. Like, how how nice. do you even do that? I don't even understand. Let's go to him with her background. Are you in the Northern Lights? Yeah. Where are you at? She's in Dallas. We get him here. <laughs> Don keeps disappearing. Really? <laughs> I wouldn't know. John's hanging out with goats. <laughs> in soup. I know. I love that. Sheep. That background is the best. I know. Goats, sheep, whatever. They're the same thing. They're just right? hanging out in soup. No, because sheep cool. go to heaven, goats go to goats hell. Goats go to hell. Good, that's right. Go to that's heaven. like one of my favorite goats songs, too. I can't to believe hell. I forgot. What is that from? All right. It's cake. Go to heaven. It's a cake yeah. song. Nope. Heaven with the skate park. Hell. I just want to play on my universe. pan pipe. I don't know. I just want to drink it's it's just about some wine. Sheep and goats. I didn't listen. As soon as, soon as, as you're born, you start, start dying. dying. Really so <laughs> you might as well have a good time. Oh, no, I just know yeah. the short skirt and the long jacket. Go to heaven. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I love that song. Mm -hmm. Worst one. It's, so, it's a really good song. Come on, I mean. <laughs> My older son was afraid of goats when he was four. Specifically Aww. goats. He would have nightmares about goats. Oh, oh I had God. I had nightmares about donkeys because uh, we lived when I was a little kid. We lived across the street from a ranch, and they had donkeys that would bray in the Fuckers middle. Fuckers are night. mean. Yeah, they are mean. And uh, but my dream was a recurring one. Every time the donkeys brayed, they would show up in my dream as uh, witches who brayed like donkeys. So oh my, that's I, horrible. I, I grew up with a fear of donkeys. That is terrifying. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah no i think he got we went to a um like a little shitty zoo one time and there was a goat there and the goat really quickly ran up onto a little rock like a hill thing they had made for it and it just kind of 
like freaked it came close to him but didn't and he would just at first i thought he was saying there was a ghost <laughs> he was like four and he's like there's a ghost and i'm trying to assure him there's no ghosts and no no <laughs> <There's a> goat <laughs> and then i'm just like you're trying not to laugh because it's really funny but you want to reassure him that it's okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I got I got asked I got asked like two days ago if Santa was real. Did you just say fuck no? Well, no, no, no. It was it was by um, gentleman's caller's four year old, and I oh, I, I thought said, it was gentleman caller. <laughs> no, I told I told him the same thing I told my children, which mm-hmm. is, what do you think? Because mm-hmm. then they can come to their own conclusions. Mm-hmm. And he was like. Ah. Like he sat there and talked about it, and then we talked about magic and Christmas and mm-hmm. all that stuff. And then he like started, he went off on a big Bigfoot rant. And so it, he, he was like gone, but I was like really scared that I was going to have to tell him he wasn't real because oh, then his no. mom would send me some angry text that I had like ruined Christmas. So My older was, one was scared. wanted to know when he was four and we finally, we just told yeah. him. <laughs> like, I mean, no. I've never lied to my kids. I always told yeah. them, I always like said, what do you think? And he was excited, though, at four when we told him, because then he felt like he was in on the secret. Exactly. Like, he thought it was so cool. He was just like, yes, I knew it. <laughs> yeah. We never taught our kids about Christmas Mm-mm. at all. I mean, That's about, smart. I'm sorry, about uh, Santa at all. Santa. See, and we didn't I, do Christmas, I did, we didn't I did do the Santa. Christmas thing, and I did Santa, but I did, um, I didn't say Santa brought the presents. I just said, what do you think? You know, mm-hmm. like it's magical. I don't know. Oh, we put tags on them from mom and dad. You know, it was there was no allusion to Santa Claus at all. We wouldn't yeah. even have Santa Claus figurines or anything. It was all, you know. I heard. Oh, Jesus I had a lot of penguin Christ. stuff in my house at Christmas time because penguins are fictional. They're godly. What's this got to do with yeah. this? Penguins are fantastic. And, and well, I do reindeer because reindeer are real, but so are penguins. Uh, or penguins. Thank you. Get out of there. Come on. You know, I met oh, my niece the other day. She, and she actually thought bats weren't real. <laughs> and I actually had to say that bats were, she thought bats were like ghosts. That they were <laughs> oh, you know, like, I've, I've seen a bat, so I know they're real. And then, and, then, and then I was thinking, like, okay, like her bat obsessed aunt. It's like, okay, let me tell you about this. Let me explain this. Dude, my parents were like, as soon as I was able to talk, they were like, Santa Claus is not real. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I you. wish. I, I wish. Jesus I remember the, the feeling of betrayal. And so I didn't want to do that to my kids. Because I was like nine and I asked my mom directly and she finally told me, yes, you know, Santa's not real. And I was, I felt so betrayed, like lied to for nine years. And I didn't want to do that to my children. So I always just said, what do you think? And they were like, I think he's real. I'm like, okay. And then when they said, I think you're Santa, I'm like, you're right. Like that was, they came to their own conclusion. <laughs> then I never lied to them, not once. So. That's it, very, that's well, very well that. played. Very I, well. He, it's it's the, dip, the diplomatic Santa. Mormon. <laughs> I don't know. Well, for, me, for me, it was like when I realized that Santa had the exact same handwriting as my dad. I'm thinking, okay, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. I wish I had seen through the ruse. I was really not a smart eight-year-old. I'd. It took me a while. I found out before my brother did, and I told him that Santa was going to die in the furnace. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't tell him that Santa would be wasn't a really real. Interesting study to, I told my to brother that Santa before. wasn't real because I said, if you become a third grader and you still believe in Santa, mm-hmm. everyone's going to make fun of you. <laughs> yeah, so, no, I, I told him Santa was like, real, but we didn't have a chimney, so Santa was going to come down the furnace pipe and burn to death. <laughs> oh my, my mom was not pleased. Here's a sociological study. I wonder weird. if there's a correlation between pe- between kids who have felt betrayed by learning Santa's not real and those kids growing up to be conspiracy theorists. Maybe. Oh, wow. That would be very interesting. But I'm, I, I mean, believed in Santa until I was like 12. Yeah. Uh, daughter yeah. is friends so and arguments about it. Even though my daughter has been told not once ever that Santa's real, she solidly believes in Santa. No, she, she doesn't. Hilarious. Yes, she does. She's almost no, 10. She's clinging to it, but she doesn't actually believe. She's almost 10. I'm about to shake oh, her. Yeah. <laughs> because, <laughs> I used to believe in, like, conspiracy theories. Because, because the thing with conspiracy I mean, theories is what you were saying earlier about that they're true? how, uh, well, yeah. like, uh, 
But no, I mean, I used to think no, it's go like, ahead. I, mean, I didn't have a method in order to determine what is true or not because I was believing in uh, talking snakes and shit. I mean, there's not much else to <laughs> that point. Right? Sir. <laughs> Donkeys, hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but you were alluding earlier to how you felt like you were in on it. Like when you learned Santa mm -hmm. wasn't real, like, exactly. oh, yes. and that's how conspiracy theorists think. They think, uh, that's true. They, they believe yeah, in these things they I know feel, the truth. They feel yeah. important and they feel like they're in mm -hmm. on something. Well, that's, well, yeah, that's, that's what I did with my oldest. Well, that's what I, you say is sheeple, like, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wake up, sheeple. Exactly. Well, what you got to do is tell them Santa's not real. Well, that's real what Willis and... always says, isn't it? Wake up, sheeple. Yeah. So how you, uh, I, I love that meme about how you uh, baffle, how you make a conspiracy theorist shut up. They, 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 they go on their rant about how the moon landing was a hoax, and you all you got to do is say, you believe the moon is real? <laughs> yeah, Eli Bosnick said he likes to out conspiracy conspiracy oh, theorists. Yeah, they're like that sounds absurd. <laughs> crazy. You go on about dragon lizards in the center of the earth that eat gold. So the, those are you know, real. You know how yeah. was that a Doctor Who episode? Yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, they didn't eat gold, but yes. <laughs> so you know yeah, how flat earthers, are, uh, flat earthers were making a comeback in the last four years, but now the new thing on YouTube conspiracy theorists, the new, th the new thing they're starting to get on is that the sun is fake. And, <laughs> yeah. So it's just like a, a hole cut in the ceiling? Wow. Uh, it's a hologram or it's a... Uh, a projection or I'm intrigued. I'm into this. I'm gonna sense. go look at this. This is yeah. all well, nighttime is when they do maintenance on the lens. <laughs> <It's> the <worst. laughs> that's that every night. Well that's every when it rains <laughs> or yeah. But yeah, rain is emergency maintenance. Well, I've, <laughs> I've seen the Hunger Games. It's all just like a big prop light on top of yep. the dome yeah, that they're know. keeping us all in. Well, so. when you go outside, I don't see any curvature. Like the Truman Show. So it's clearly flat. <laughs> my, my parking That's lot is flat. Argument. Yeah, because intuition is everything. Intuition is... Uh, you should build a steam rocket so that you can prove this. <laughs> <laughs> Great idea. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to all the news play people that I'm doing this. I'll, I'll do the really first interview naked. right now. <laughs> I'll interview Amy right now. Tell us about your new steam rocket or any other rocket you care to talk about. I have zero <laughs> experience with mechanical engineering, but I totally believe I can do this. I've watched a YouTube video. <laughs> well, supposedly, the guy who did that was actually just a daredevil, but he, he yeah. got uh, Flat Earthers to fund his rocket ship by saying he was doing it so he could well, see. What was that guy? Was it Joe? Oh, I can't remember. The guy that did the, the lawn chair with the balloons in Australia. It well, was a movie. Sense. Well, no, it was oh. a movie. It was a fantastic movie, actually. It was mm -hmm. the guy that was in... Um, Ah. <laughs> the one with the guy with the face. The guy in the movie with the face. Julia thing. Roberts and Hugh <laughs> Grant. <laughs> with the, I'm just the a guy standing in front of a girl. Notting Hill. Notting oh, Hill. Yes, the guy Grant. that plays the roommate is in the oh. movie. Oh. He's, in the, he's in the movie where he's the guy in the lawn chair with the balloons. Yeah. I remember this now. It's a great that was animated. <laughs> it's a, no, it's a great movie actually. Mm. I saw the animated version. Did you all hear the conspiracy theorist about coronavirus? This is uh, usually edited because the honest. one that it's that <laughs> being it's, we're going to get rid of the big money and the Rothschilds. Well, no, it's the, Ooh, the I've heard that there's, one. There's, Good. one, there's one conspiracy theory that says that the quarantining and sheltering in place is so that the government can recharge all the fake birds. Oh, good. I love that one. Good, because the old ones are getting real old. Like, yeah. yeah. You got to do it ones. sometime. Yeah. I, I, did you hear that debate on uh, Right to no. Fuck no. I don't oh, listen God. to it. was so funny. I swear I, did, it's like I couldn't Andy even. Kaufman, though, I swear. <laughs> Pulling an Andy Coffin. Like, no, birds Andy. aren't real. <laughs> it makes perfect sense when you think about it, though. Like. <laughs> No, there's now conspiracy theories. Oh, no. Now. Mm -hmm. No, I heard somebody on one of my friend's walls, she sent me a screenshot of it, and this woman thinks that Trump's got something very big planned. We just don't know about it, but she knows about it. But what's going to happen is he's going he's gonna to get rid of all 
the big, the dirty money, like the dirty money with the Rothschilds like, and the Bilderberg what groups. Dirty money mean? It's the dirty money. Um, like the stuff that's dirty. been shoved dirt, not places? the clean stuff. Yeah, the like dirty the stuff, stuff that's not cocaine. clean. That's that's not dirty. She that's, means it's Jewish gross. money. Of it. That's party yeah. money. <laughs> that's Jew gold. That's, that's a whole different, different. thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, now I gotta find it because it's just it's. it's I gotta hold on. Funny. I gotta find this. It's fantastic. It's the everybody. It's been great. Let's do this again. But I've got to get going now. Okay. Uh, Bye. Nice to see you. Canada man. Have fun in Canada. The reason I said it meant Jewish money is Rothschilds, Bilderbergs. Yeah. Bonnie, exactly. go your <laughs> it's always the Jews. All these conspiracy theories break mm -hmm. down to Jews. <laughs> Well, there should Watch be. Watch the movie Creed of Gold. What is and that? It, it'll tell you all about how the Jewish people started all the wars. And are I'm excited to learn. Mm hmm. How did you watch this? No, I didn't. Actually, it was a god awful movie. Okay. Anyway, but I no, listen. Now I need it. to. I I want to go back to god awful movies and get ideas for all the things to watch on Netflix. <laughs> yes. Because they have some ideas. <laughs> oh, okay. <yeah>. They're fun. <laughs> Their Netflix yeah. looks way different than mine. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> the algorithm is all fun. Yeah. Here's the conspiracy. <laughs> okay. Prepare yourselves. People have no idea what's really going on. And not okay. just now. It's exactly a hype for a vaccine. I would start Googling military and government <sighs> whistleblowers. A hype for a vaccine. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. For nanobots, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, well, that's why I don't get my flu shot. <laughs> yeah, you do. Hold on, I gotta find the other one. People are no. I worked for I no for... such agency, so I for one love our nanobot overlords. No, we get it. <laughs> I want to get a job with the agencies. Oh, here we go. This is this is in no way to help. So they're having an argument about vaccines and doctors making money. <laughs> This is in no way to help doctors make money. This is to insert dangerous things into our body. The media does what they are told, and this doesn't need to happen every few years. This is the first time anything like this has ever happened in the USA. Then how can it happen every few years? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, love, I love how conspiracy theorists uh, contradict themselves. In that. their own article? <laughs> yep. In the same sentence. And you can I've just read... move in that line and be like, well, they're in on it too. So, you know, it changes. Like, I've read some did, psychological you articles from me. <laughs> how they're able to move back and forth uh, between contradictory views seamlessly. Yeah, back and forth. It's, it's fascinating. <laughs> it is. It is. It's, it's frustrating, really. It's frustrating. <laughs> well, because you can't it pin is. them down. No. <laughs> uh, that's why. Now I have to go stalk this person's Facebook page to see if I can find <laughs> other stuff that was hilarious. Accidentally yeah. like something while you're at it. Okay. No, no, do that, do that no. on Instagram, and then you have to try to unheart it the heart. Oh, that's the worst. <laughs> worst. When you're stalking like someone who liked the guy you likes page. When you accidentally like a, or love an ex's post. Yeah. Oh, that's the word. Or you're like three years in their history and you accidentally like something. Because <laughs> then they get the thing, they're like, this person's... Then they know you were scrolling. Exactly. There was somebody, I can't even remember who it was, but uh, I got a ton of notifications all at once, and it was somebody, like, serial liking a bunch of stuff I posted four years ago. Yeah, that's weird. That's People always do that, weird when that happens. Like, someone, like, I'll accept a friend request, and it'll be like four or five years back and they're like 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 five things at once i'm like what are you doing right there <laughs> you know what though i've done that and gone oh shit i need to stop liking things this person's gonna think i'm crazy because they like because i do when i'll make I a new friend that. and then i'll go back and read their post and oh i like that i like that yeah. i realize they're getting notifications that i'm just liking <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's I'm, that like, person. I'm like accept the friend request i'm like i'm not even gonna go to your page have you ever gone to somebody's page and forget that you went to their page and you're scrolling and they're like why is my whole timeline this one person oh yeah like they're posting so much why is this person <laughs> posting so much like, damn, and you're like, not even oh. friends with them because you've gone to something and you've seen a comment by someone else and you click on them and you're like rabbit holed 
and then you're scrolling <laughs> to someone else's feed. <laughs> <laughs> it's the friend of a friend of a friend of a friend. Yes. Yep. Yes. I do that. I'm like rabbit hole. Then I'm like, should I like it? I'm like, oh, I don't have the option to like it. Why can't I like it? I'm like, oh, I don't know this person. <laughs> and then you can never get back to what you were actually looking at. Then you can never find it again, ever. No. I figured out how to find my recent history, though. So I can see what I've just seen. Because that's how I find like the meme that I wanted to share. Oh, that's a good idea. Well, then Facebook refreshes and you can't ever find it again. Well, no, that's why I found what I my recent scene. It's mm-hmm. like your recent history, right? Yeah. Oh, I thought that only showed up in your recent activity, not recent. I didn't know the recent scene. Was There's a, a recently scene too. Like you can oh. find that. Like you recently I saw this. I'm like, yes, I did. Thank you for showing me that meme that I was trying to find. Maybe. Oh my God, you guys. The patients <laughs> in New York are mannequins. Oh, this is all a setup. Good. They're not real. I'm glad. The nurses are taking care of mannequins to make do it the, look like. Wait, they're the not nurses, even crisis actors. Do the nurses they're, know? What happened to the crisis actors? Oh, the doctors and nurses know. Yes, they're oh, the good. crisis. They actors. must okay, have good. crisis <laughs> actors for the patients here in Seattle because the ones Probably. I saw, they look like really people, and then they look like a meatball, kind of like they do, you know. Have you checked to see <laughs> that they're all mannequins? Because this says they're all mannequins. <laughs> Well, they all went meatball on us. So. <laughs> How many people have to be in on the secret? A lot. Well, it's it's like OJ. Like everybody like except for everybody. There's a hashtag coronavirus truth. Oh, hashtag excited. lockdown Ireland. We need to do hashtag another one. Five G coronavirus. I'm very excited to do another one because there are so many conspiracies now. We're, we're yeah. still we're still working to try to. To, uh, to uh, debunk 9-11 conspiracy theorists because those people won't go away. So 20 well, years from yeah. now, yeah. this is going to be a really Yeah. Because 9-11 was clearly an inside job, right? Oh, like, yeah. yeah. But have you, seen, have you seen the super crazy one where they, people are blaming this on 5G? That's yeah. apparently what this <laughs> woman is doing. Like the phone Seriously? option? Yes, yeah. the 5G New internet. Be, we have 5G uh, now. That's why this is um, happening. That's what this is. That's what's because on this woman's page. And yes. And whatever else. The 5G, 5G is destroying us. It's the devil. It was 4G it's was doing AI it before. It. Now it's 5G. Clearly. According to this, New Hampshire is temporarily banning 5G installations because of the health risks. Of course they are. Yeah. Great. That's legit. That's so we're gonna according go- to a according to a website called 5gcrisis.com. I forget what go. country it was, but one country is like the the people are slaughtering all the bats they can find because they heard it oh. came from bats. Oh, oh my oh. god! Why are humans like this? Oh my god! <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> okay, you're gonna go eat food. Well, yeah. this is gonna dinner. Yeah, we're some cheap and tomatoes. Yeah, my bladder is gonna burst anymore. Are you bringing anyway, it so. to me too? No, no, sorry. You deliver. I don't yeah. walk that fast. <laughs> <laughs> no contact. Just leave it outside. It's fine. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> cool. cool. <laughs> By your front door. Yeah. Sorry. Keep waiting. Bye. <laughs> Love you. Bye. 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 Hopefully, we'll hey. see you in August. What's Maybe. On? We'll see. Skept- Skepticon again. Uh, Skepticon. Absolutely. Assuming we're not all quarantined by then. So. I know. Yeah. Hey, we have a bigger house now, so I'm just saying. So we can move in? Yeah, you can move in. We we have a guest. <laughs> like, yeah. But then Amy and I have to fight over it. <laughs> no, we don't. There's I no would fight. win in a fight, though. <laughs> There's no, no zero fight. I'll win. All right, we'll see you later. Bye. 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 Thank you for <clears throat> Thanks for being here. I was hoping that they don't cancel a lot of the um, conventions. Like I wanted to go to um, secular women work and um, yes. women of color beyond belief mm-hmm. and all of these. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So is anybody watching features. The Walking Dead? No. No. I, I, was thinking, I was thinking about restarting it from the beginning. That would be there's no season finale for this year because of the virus. That's perfect. Haven't made it yet. And it's, there's too much special effects. They can't but, do it safely. But That's they perfect, also, though. But they also uh, the the studio that was filming Walking Dead uh, decided to walk out on filming in Georgia in protest against their anti-abortion. Uh, I had bills. heard about that. Makes sense, but yeah. So there's there's no season finale for the season filmed yet. They're like it'll be here when someday maybe. 
So there's there's this there's gonna be one this weekend is the one before the season finale. That one's made, but and then, then nothing. The next one after that's gone. There's supposed to be you know, a three. Then. There's supposed to be three theatrical movies in the works that uh, chronicle what happened to Rick when he disappeared. Oh, he disappeared. I haven't yeah. watched it in a while. He oh. was. They thought they thought he was dead, and then the show skips forward six years later. Oh, and, that's a cheesy way out. That's like that's cheating. <laughs> well, every time they do that on a show i'm to. over it a link you texted me i texted you a link to that woman's facebook page because it's all public and it's bananas i'm very excited about that. <laughs> you if you it. want conspiracy theories listen to be reasonable right oh, yeah the best That's- one is that guy that oh, does man. has the cancer cure i like um, the hollow earth the- one because like oh, right at the cool. end they find out he's like a Nazi sympathizer. <laughs> well, there's this guy that he's Spoiler a kickboxer alert. and he believes that he can cure cancer. There you go. Michael Marshall has more patients than I could I'll ever be back. have. Oh, I know, him. right? Yeah. Amy, you're in charge. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, that's too much power. Here, Amy, you're put, in charge. Hold on. Put in wait. Yes, I'm always co-host. in charge. Amy's always in. There's an did Amy you, in charge. I'm did you, you a change co-host. the light color in the living room? Yeah. <laughs> I'll be back. Amy has the power. I can actually change the lights on him. I can change the lights on you. Oh, damn, you can. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a realization in real time. No, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that was great, Amy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's doing it. Great. <laughs> Stop. Your reaction was priceless, though. (laughs) (laughs) Who should know? But I'm like, oh, he can. I've seen the name. I haven't seen a person. (laughs) Who should know? I've never seen a person. What's a person? It's just been there. (laughs) (laughs) We're just lurking. (laughs) Who's lurking? Chanel. Chanel. I don't have administrative... Oh, hey, Chanel. Say one out of 11 is a Russian spy. and <laughs> We know everybody else here. Have you heard about the Zoom bombing? No. Oh, yes, I did. I, I was really excited about it because we, do, we did a Zoom meeting on Friday meetings. And I was hoping that that would shake it up. For what? <laughs> the Zoom, Zoom bombings. bombings. There's like Zoom people that come in like draw genitalia and like. <laughs> Wait, oh, I haven't heard about this? that. <laughs> <laughs> How do you draw genitalia? Did someone ask? Uh, oh my goodness! Someone's don't do that. <laughs> Gentleman caller sharing his screen. Oh, I can do my. this actually. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> I was actually, asking, hey. I know, right? I, I know. thought a dick pic was right about to appear. No, he was just gonna write hello or hey. That yeah, looks like oh. it was gonna say hello. I was expecting the worst. Yeah. That's <laughs> no. kind of what I had figured. <laughs> no, I, got, I, got, I got rid of all of those ones. <laughs> I sent Amy some dick pics. <laughs> Probably. Was it Dick Cheney? No, it was Richard Nixon <laughs> and Dick Van Dyke. Okay. I usually send Dick Cheney or Dick Clark. No, but nothing beats that picture of that bottle of wine. That's from Amy. I don't send that one. Bottle of wine? Yeah, it's oh. a, there's a bottle of wine and there's a massive dick next to it. And it's like, what do, you think it of this, what do you think of this label? And you look at it for a while and you can't see the dick right next to the wine. <laughs> Funny you see it. But, and then you see it and you're like, oh. <laughs> it's like all, the length of the bottle of wine. Yeah. It's oh, crazy. Oh, God. Like, it, that that kind of like that gorilla video with all the people yeah. throwing the ball back and forth and you don't see the gorilla walking through the center. Do <laughs> <laughs> you like it? The Latter-day Lesbians still, Amy? I love that show. So, yeah. Remember yeah. when they went to Dyke Bar? <laughs> yeah. And it ended up being Dick Bar? <laughs> <laughs> They're so great. There was a, a bar spelled D-I-K in D-C that they went to. And they're like, there's a bunch of guys. I don't see any girls around. And then, like, the DJ comes on. 
welcome to Dick Bar. Like, and they're like, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> what guess what was uh, latter -day, latter day lesbians. Latter day lesbians, singular. Yeah. A friend of mine, we were bar hopping back in the day when I drank, and we wound up, the two of us, both guys that look kind of weird, <laughs> wound up in a lesbian bar, and we didn't know that. And it was so funny because they kept, they looked at us and we could tell they assumed we were gay. So they were cool with it. So we karaoke with them all night long. It was like, after it was over, the guy says, you ever figure out that was a lesbian bar? I'm like, what? Huh? <laughs> I just thought they had all the cute chicks here. I didn't know. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, yeah, oh really? Fun when guys go to a lesbian bar and hit on the lesbians. It's like, seriously? Like you can I have change a purple them. robe just like that. Exactly what they don't want. That that's no. why they're there. No, no, man. <laughs> that was not why we were situation. there. We were there because we were too drunk and stumbled in, right. and we paid so a ten dollar cover because they were trying to keep us out. And we didn't catch <laughs> on. So hey, with the line, how are you wearing my robe? <laughs> well, go down and then wave. Well, show them your face. Show me your face. Hello. Wave. Hi. 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 Everyone curse now. That's the one that can plays closing notes. time constantly. Oh, yeah, he's leaving now. Make him run the for you. Yes, bathroom. I am wearing a bathrobe. Thank no, you for noticing. No, it looks noticing. like you're wearing mine. I, maybe I stole over there. it. It looks just know. like it. <laughs> you look like a badass. Yeah. I, might I couldn't deal with that dress anymore. I oh, I've, I've never worn this dress that I'm wearing. Never worn I had never worn the one I was wearing either. Yeah. Yeah, gentleman, gentleman caller. More once at he least. He was like, "You've you own a dress that you've never worn." I'm like, "Yes, I bought a dress and I've never worn it." I own like three I've never worn. Me too. Like, They're gonna look one, great someday. You can't see it, but it's real pretty. It's mm -hmm. really pretty. But oh, I like that. Yeah, I know. Yay. Never bro <laughs> Never worn it before until tonight. Because I couldn't figure out what to do with all this strappy stuff up here. <laughs> mm. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> is he playing closing time maybe uh, closing time <laughs> I remember I in Dallas it anyway. I I don't, uh, that was a uh, closing town and they just had closing time on the loose for like I don't hour. remember I've only Good lived night. in Dallas for 14 years no well, this, this, this happened in 2017 a little more I don't, <laughs> I, don't I, the edge. I don't remember that. That's oh. funny. In yeah, 99? but anyway, it was like this alternative music station, and like I listen. Up. Yeah, I listened to the Edge. I don't remember that. Yeah, one hundred two point one, the Edge, bro. I listened to it. It's on my thing. What's all? But now there's ninety three three, which is like it's cool. I like that. I have to remember no, that ninety three three. Trash. It's not trash. It's <laughs> mostly in Spanish, but it's cool. Oh, no, that I only listen great. to NPR. No, that one's great. So. It plays a bunch of reggaeton. It does. I love oh, it. I took the quiz to be on ask, uh, for NPR's uh, Ask Me Another. And <gasps> Did I, you? I don't think I passed. But... <laughs> I think I entered to be on Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me once, but yes. they never called. Wait, wait, never what is this? Oh, you never heard Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me? No. Oh, wait, don't don't tell me. Tell me. I don't know what Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me is. Saturdays or on weekends. Yeah. It's, it's you need to be more of a liberal elitist. <laughs> was I Mormon then? <laughs> they release it as a podcast too. Yeah, they do. I, I, I listen to it. About. I've only been not Mormon for five years. Wait a minute! You're telling me you don't have your Audi Cornish tote bag? What? what are you talking about? It's hiding about? in the corner with I my was, mug. I was zero. Know what you're talking about? See, she Mormon. doesn't know because she's not elitist enough. No, I was. I've Mormon. been listening to NPR from way back. No, I was Mormon until five years ago. Madeline <laughs> <laughs> PR right, uh, umbrella. I was a really good Mormon. I actually do Exo, have an uh, NPR bumper we sticker, had but I don't have in it. February. <laughs> I thought did you guys ever watch Weeds? That show Weeds. Oh yes. yeah, that was great. The wow. first two Some seasons. I didn't see the whole thing, but there's an. Oh, it, it and scene. it just got start, It started getting really bad, and then it did the thing yeah. where it jumped ahead five years or ten years oh, or whatever. Yeah, they did do the yeah. There's a scene in like I think it's season two or something where she pulls up in her car and she's in this just bad neighborhood and she rolls down her window and 
the the world theme music on NPR is playing. And I'm just like, that is so me. It's just the nerdiest. Like everybody she else is, is playing just she's badass music. She's the best, music and worst music. person ever. Hers is <laughs> she's like, the world on NPR. She's, she's a terrible yeah. person, but she's like the best at it. Yes. Yeah. I, I identify with that. Bad. It's like a Breaking Bad with weed. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't see but Breaking Bad. they did Bad. it first. Funny. Oh, Breaking Bad's Wait. really good too. You I need to Breaking watch Bad? it. No, I couldn't get into get it. Get off of this call. What? Go what? watch Breaking Bad. <laughs> it's so good. It's good. Is it? Is it worth it? Is yeah, it six? Really is it six good. feet under good though? Because six feet uh, under oh, yeah. was fantastic. I never saw it's six that. Six feet under good. Six feet under. Wait, some of you oh. haven't seen Six Feet Under? It's the best show Christ. ever from beginning to end. What is wrong with you people? Six feet under. I'm gonna make a list. Fucking work of art. Thank you. It's the best yeah. show ever from beginning to end. That's what we're doing. <laughs> I haven't seen it, so it must not be. It's an excellent show. It is. Breaking Bad. Gentleman Caller's never seen it either. Oh, oh. Breaking Bad is so good. I know. It's so good. It is Breaking good. Bad is hard to get into until you get to the third season. But and I, totally I couldn't get it. past the first episode. Like, what? I really liked the first season, and then by season two, I was kind of like, eh, I don't know. And then I quit Maybe watching I'll try it. it. I'll the try first it again. But then I got back Breaking in. Breaking Bad had the perfect hook. The Did perfect it? hook beginning. Was it, it the naked guy? the guy the guy in his underwear chasing the rv yeah it didn't Mm -hmm. work well and then they just made that movie that picks up like where breaking that ended and tells what happened with jesse yeah really really that was really good too i watched that and i just went i don't know i didn't oh i saw the movie that was a good movie I don't know. I love the movie. I no, that's like that picks up at the end of Breaking Bad. You gotta go watch Breaking Bad now. I just thought the movie was fun. I don't. <laughs> you can't <laughs> get anything out of the movie until you've seen the whole show. Was that you the one with the, the convenience story. store shootout? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, the movie was great. No idea what was going on. Yeah. <laughs> because you just watched watch the show and then watch so the goddamn show. <laughs> Watch the first two seasons. Please go watch the series finale. I can do that. <laughs> they know it makes some sense. It made sense. It was a gun. <laughs> <laughs> For what it is. I'll just explain all yeah, of the it, seasons to you. Okay. I'll just record myself talking about it, and then you can listen to it. <laughs> I will get around up. to that. Have, yes, it'll be a, like the Tiger King thing. More have podcasts co-host. about shows. I need. Yeah. I need to talk to Amy more. Isn't yes. there a? Isn't there a video on YouTube of Samuel L. Jackson like summarizing the whole series? Oh, I hope I'll watch so. that. I like him It'll more than amazing. Amy. He did. He did that with a uh, Lord or a uh, uh, Game of Thrones. Samuel L. Jackson narrated. Oh my God! I'm gonna have to go see that. That's it's possible. Yeah. Then. I'm gonna have to find that That's now. Thanks. Thanks for yep. that. <laughs> yeah, there goes our Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're Nikki and I are going to do a geek out podcast about Game of Thrones at some point too. Ooh, I yeah. love Game of Thrones. That's a great show. You don't I, get to come. Nobody invited you. I'm not inviting myself. <laughs> you can come you on. Can you come on my show and talk about it. Nikki, if I happen to show up, just let me in, okay? You'll see. I've done a on my podcast. I've done. A, I will. A, the Good Place. I've done Westworld, mm-hmm. and I've done. I love Westworld. Else. Are you watching so. the current season? Season? Uh, I, I need to I watch the last it, two because I've kind of forgotten. Did it get better? I saw the first oh. two. Or the okay. first yes. weird. The, first the, second, the, the second season kind of lagged for me and kind yeah. of uh, straight yeah. off course. But third I one loved them and then I got uh, rid of Adam HBO. Packer? The, the kid someone from Breaking Bad. Yeah. The second season was hard, but. Uh, Aaron Paul. Uh, Aaron yeah, Paul. He's, in it and he's amazing. But I will say. What you watch in season three wouldn't make very much sense without season two. Okay. Right. So it is laying a foundation. It's like a foundation they wish they didn't have to lay, but you do have to lay it because the world that you enter in season three is so fucking different than anything it's else. weird. Like, was it not ever. weird about the first episode to be like, what? I was like, what is this? What is happening? I still don't They're all robots. Like sociopolitical <laughs> everything uh-huh. about it. It's hey, I need to find a boyfriend with HBO. Thank you. Should I get on Tinder? Yes. Go yes. for it. To find your no. long-term relationship. <laughs> Somebody have the idea. HBO. Anybody want to use my HBO password? You're free. You're welcome to. I mean, I want to watch some fucking Westworld. Okay. I'm all poor can... now. We had to get rid of HBO. Yeah. I... 
Yeah, I can definitely share my password. I had to stop it. paying things like my car payment. <laughs> oh, I took my, they I took my car insurance off my car because I figured I'm not going to be Why? driving anywhere for like a month. Well, we've been we've been doing favor runs for fun, <laughs> and it's we, fun. Well, because he has fa- he does favor, and it's really fun because we work like five hours or something for like two days, and it's like a scavenger hunt that you make money doing. It's fun. Wait, what? Like Why doing favor runs? They it's don't an know what app. Favor is. I just learned this today. Favor is like DoorDash or it's um... like DoorDash, but you can do oh. like grocery store runs or Walgreens or something. Shut up! It's fun. No, that's it's amazing. Fun. Yeah, and you mm-hmm. you'd like you join like on the internet and stuff, and then how much do we make like just doing five hours this week? I don't know, like seventy plus dollars. Yeah, it was that's super excellent. fun. Super fun. <laughs> That's excellent. That's, awesome. that's better than, that's like, oh my God, that's really good. It was like that's date night. We got in the car awesome. and we just drove around and just grabbed things. Like we went through Chick-fil-A and we grabbed someone's food. We didn't pay for it. And then we just like drove it to their apartment and dropped it off. And then we just drove somewhere else. It was like fun. It was just fun. Holy that's shit. That's fun. That does sound fun. It's super no, fun. It was our date night. My husband is the one who has to venture out into the world because yeah. he just does. It's- so we've got his truck. So my car is just sitting there now with no insurance on it. Cause I'm like, I'm not, I don't want to pay $600 to not drive my car for another month and a half. So yeah. I called the insurance and I know the insurance agent cause she's an old friend and she's like, yeah, we could just take it off for now and put it back on later. And might as well. Your insurance is like, $600? Good. What? Your insurance is $600? Every six months. Oh. No, that's yeah, true. not no. monthly. No, no, no. Tell her, Every you want to tell months. her how much our insurance is to drive in Dallas? <laughs> Mine's I'm like eight We pay four hundred dollars a month for two oh. cars. Ouch! What? But that's well, full for coverage. Two cars. Oh, yeah, full that coverage. What? We drive in. We we work and drive in Dallas. So. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, anything it. like under two hundred on our. And I and I. We don't have expensive cars either. Like I drive a bug. Like yeah, I have not... a piece of shit. Yeah. 2012 falling apart. I have a 2012 bug. Yeah, it's not. Oh, that's awesome. Damn, that's so cool. Nice car. <laughs> I drive a 2001 Volvo for only ninety dollars a month insurance. Nice. Wow. Nice. We, we drive a 2015. I have to. I have, there's no damn. Cat. Oh my god. Cat. Kitty photo bomb. Kitty. He decided he was going to steal the show. Uh, oh, there he is! He's so cute, Daddy. Oh, oh, is that a is it a Russian blue? Yeah, that's what I had. Moriarty Stick his face was a Russian in the camera. Blue. What's that? Moriarty was a Russian blue. Is that what that is? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Wow. Oh, oh, beautiful. Such a pretty. They're so pretty. Oh, there is he. Does he have an attitude? Oh yeah, he does. Yeah, mm-hmm. mine did too. He was. They're such jerks. He wants to sit on my lap, but he doesn't want me to pet him. That's his. Mm-hmm. Sit, I'm gonna sit in your lap, but you are not to pet me, human. Yeah, yeah. Move this I, contraption I, from your lap, which is. Wait, if I would, if I would pet him, he would bite me, and I was like, "Really?" But you're you, right here. Right. <laughs> okay, he bit me. He, he does bite. that. That's what he does with he Deanna. He bite him. He didn't bite him. He only bit right? me. He doesn't bite me. You see what I'm doing? If this yeah. was Deanna, he'd yes. be gnawing all over her. That's what he did to me, but he wouldn't bite Benjamin. He wouldn't bite him. I can get away with murder in his eyes. I mean, she would be chewed up doing this. Come on down. There you go. I have like I have scars from that cat. I miss him. (laughs) It it was like a Tom and Jerry movie. Don't you think that'd be the cat to play Tom? (laughs) Probably. Like a live action Disney style of Tom. It's hard to train them to do anything though. (laughs) <laughs> mm-hmm. especially the mice I mean, but <laughs> exactly mm-hmm. what you meant to say. they keep is- going they keep getting new mice because they keep dying <laughs> <laughs> maybe those those danged experiments they keep doing on them. <laughs> it's been very nice to have like Chappie is totally incompetent at catching mice <laughs> Shushu's really good at it. Now we actually don't have fucking mice in our kitchen anymore. I'm very Ugh, happy. I hate yeah. mice. They're so gross. We had mice in our kitchen when I lived in Utah. Because they used Oof. to, like, I remember my mom said that she used to open the, the drawer and there was, like, a family of mice. And she was like, we don't use that one. <laughs> and then she just used all the other. 
Oh, damn. Yeah, they just shit on everything. Like, it's just, they get into a corner. Oh. No, Shushu's a serial killer. <laughs> Is it, how do you say it? It's choo choo? Like Shoo shoo. Chow chow. Like, like the shoe that you put on your foot. Like a chow? Not a chow chow. chow. <laughs> like a chow dog? When you chow down. No, see. Exactly. Exactly how you say it. It's a term of endearment in French that literally means cabbage. Oh, cabbage. I should have picked something else because it's a, a ridiculous name. It is. I told you that when you said it. When you, I know. I mentioned that. it one time. I'm like, oh, that'd be cute. And then I went, no, I changed my mind. But by then my kids were like, yeah, let's do that. And I was like, that's that's stupid. Yeah, <laughs> it really is. Where'd you go? Because they like, uh, no. like, okay, sweetie, but they're- I muted him. Cabbage. <laughs> no, no he's gone. Video went off too. Oh, he's back. Oh, he's showing my picture. I love that picture. I was muting him for talking smack Bye. about my cat. I was I'm, talking smack too. Yeah. Well, here we go, then. I'll just <laughs> mute you and everything. <laughs> oh, fuck. Wow, you have that power. Okay. Oh, I, I can, can mute everybody on power. here, see? Dude. I can, okay. I can unmute so, myself. I know mute, how to do this. We all... Mute, mute, mute. Are you muting everyone? <laughs> no! You need to unmute yourself. <laughs> all right, you're all unmuted now. This is way too much power for me to have. Yeah, I really should have done this. Amy's going to have to do the next one because I can't. I shouldn't be left in charge. <laughs> Very true. Yeah. So Amy and I are going to fall asleep very soon. Yeah, so. I started work. Yeah, at like... I feel like I'm already falling asleep. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I started, started work you... early today. You guys can hang out and chat. I don't know if it'll I can't. let you if I I'm leave. I'm but... you have to I don't think it will if you leave. To someone else <laughs> if you leave. I mean, I can leave it on and just go away. I, mean, <laughs> no, I'm, I can yeah. put this guy. I'm super tired. Prop him up. Oh, oh yeah. no. <laughs> He's got the beard. He's got the hair. Oh, man. oh do you guys want to see Fredida? I do. Oh, yeah. see so Everyone's got to see Fredida from New from uh, New Mexico, the serial the, killer. He is gonna murder you. I did that. Look Fred at him. He has a ponytail. Ooh. Oh, wow. sitting on the the Iron Throne. He's got a nice. And, no, it's a fern. I know that dude buries bodies in the desert. Oh it's my god! Really, really creepy. That's a jawline for you, right? Ooh, that's a big ass thick head, like though. Little hater. He got a big ass forehead. He does. <laughs> Ugh, so weird. And this is the guy who's supposedly 33 years old. He's not. Oh bullshit! Give me a fuck. No. Wait, just wait, just wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait. Look 33 wait. years. That's, that's what no. I said. You don't listen to the show, but that's what I said. And I'm 48 years 33. old. 33. Right. Oh and I'm 25. I guess that makes me 12. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 33 is my actual age. So. Yeah, but you look 33. Yeah. yeah. This yeah, dude looks look like 50. he's 50. So I get, I get to be 12 now. How yeah. old do I look? You and Brent are, f- are 12. Yeah. I'm 12. <laughs> no, I assumed you're... Brent was like 15. How I know. do I look, bro? Oh, here's a fun one. How old do I look? <laughs> Rich looks so we're 45. Playing, we're playing that game now? <laughs> <laughs> How old we yeah. look? My kids 58. think I'm 60, so. You're 58? Oh, yeah. Ouch. That. And they're not grounded? <laughs> my kids you know guess, I'm, I'm a pushover my kids guess that i'm 32 i'm like oh you guys <laughs> yeah i turned 43 years ago and at the time my oldest one was like 13 and i said how old do you think i am and he's like i don't know I'm like 60 <laughs> oh my kids say they're like Punch mom the how face. old are you like 31 32 i'm like sure <laughs> Well, a couple like years ago, I, uh, I have a 17 year old, guys. Like, <laughs> I am not 31 or 32. <laughs> uh, she's a liar when she says she's in her 30s. No, about I'm 40. Two, I'm 40. About two years ago, I was uh, v- visiting my sister and her two little uh, and my two little nephews. Uh, my one nephew was four at the time, and he had just turned four. And he turned to me and he said, "Are you five? Uh, ah! sure. That's what you say. Yeah. What do you What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> Best age. Above four, so it's like okay, anything above the next level. That's yeah. Super, right? <laughs> I feel bad. My brother's fortieth birthday is tomorrow. 
You can't do and anything. And he's in quarantine and they can't do anything. And I talked oh, to my sister-in-law shit. and she's like, we're out of groceries and the Instacart thing keeps getting pushed Did back Did they try a week favor? And... They should try favor. I texted it to her. It's she never responded, so I don't know. Is it only, is it in, only Texas? in Texas? Yes. Texas Aww. is better. It's just better. Sorry, we're Sorry. better. Well, I haven't heard of it. Yeah. yeah, I'm two and a half hours away from them, so I'm not bringing them groceries, but... Oh. Maybe they should drive two and a half hours to go get groceries. They really should. My mom wants me to set up a Zoom meeting for his birthday tomorrow. Gross. Which is going to be really interesting because my parents... I haven't FaceTimed my parents at all this whole time. ...have no idea how to use camera tech. They They've never used Skype. They've never used FaceTime. Yeah, oh. This is going to be an experience. It'll be one of these... <laughs> oh yeah mm, or yeah. yell or talking really talking loudly yep. into it they're like no it's gonna guys. be both of their faces like how <laughs> you <your eyeball. laughs> so I, I was like <laughs> damn it yep. <laughs> you get to mute them that's the bonus of zoom that's true i get you to be in charge zoom. <laughs> that's what we're using we're gonna use zoom like yes. my brother downloaded my parents downloaded it and you start the meeting just on haven't the professional used it. i'm gonna mute zoom. all of them they, they hit run and everything. Yep. I'm never, I wouldn't ever use my professional resources in my personal life. So sure, I'll use sure, a separate sure, Zoom sure. account. Yeah. To- like, I'm not going to put the eyelashes down here just for fun. Yeah. No. Of course I'm not. going to. <laughs> you got to put the paper clips. I can't believe I didn't think to do that. I almost did, but then I put the mask on instead. But I was going to do it down here. The mask was pretty funny. Next well, time, we'll both have to put them all over our faces. It's for safety reasons. So I was in the bathroom, right, and I opened up the, the yeah. drawer, and it was in there. I was like, <laughs> got it both. All right. We need to wrap it up anyway, because I, I'm, I'm I have a ridiculous amount of makeup I need to wash off. So, <laughs> Thank you all so much. This was fun. We need to do it again. It was very fun. We need to do this again, do this again. Yeah. a lot. Except for Gentleman Caller. He can't come back next time. <laughs> <laughs> He's bringing me drinks. Keep it, keep them coming. All right. Just keep well, him in the penalty nice. box. Good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for being here. It was super fun. Thank, Thank you. For Especially you Nikki. Bye. 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 Uh, how do you go bye bye? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, oh, meeting. here I can do it. Leave the meeting. Okay. You can just keep close them all it. out. I'm gonna kick everyone out. Bye bye. Secular soup creed. Soup is the ultimate virtue. It's delicious, nutritious, patriarchy smashing, racism fighting, warm and fuzzy, human affirming, fun having, anti theist, glitter throwing, tummy satisfying, pair of new shoes fulfilling, diversity seeking, happiness. Minestrone, beef and barley, chicken broth and split pea, gazpacho, tomato, clam chowder and potato. Chicken noodle, beef noodle, egg drop, and ramen cup. Miso, gumbo, leek, and foe. Grab a bowl and taste the magic. Slurp even this.